What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're going to do a modern video here right now, uh, live on the internet. And um, one thing we were asked to do a while back, maybe a month or so ago, probably a little more than a month ago, and um, we were postponing it, was a colorless control deck in modern. And uh, <laughs> there was no outline, really. Uh, Jerry D, uh, otherwise is a Dominus in the chat, messaged me and said, hey, I really love this colorless control deck you posted a while back. Is it possible you could update this? And, uh, you know, I would, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, do a commission or a critique or whatever, and uh, you can update it, and we can see what happens. And I was like, yeah, that sounds super cool. That deck was really fun. And uh, so we're going to be starting from scratch, though. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a thing. So some of the original cards, or some of the cards even suggested by Jerry were uh, Ugin and All is Dusk, obviously. All is Dusk, All is Dust. Uh, Planar Portal and Planar Bridge are fun. Orbs of Warding, Unwinding Clock, Crucible of Worlds, uh, Magistrate Scepter, Tumble Magnet, and uh, Otherworld Al Alice and Paradox Engine are an option. That's interesting. I don't actually have any Paradox Engines, which is kind of funny. I wonder what that card goes for. Is that card a lot? Who knows, man. Paradox Engine? Yeah, bro. I forget what that does. I forget what you do. Ah, that card's like 20 cents. <clears throat> Less than that. All right, cool. Just play Tron. Wow. Are there going to be the Tron lands in this? That's hateful. Uh, you could use Tron lands, sure. Uh, let me look up the Colors Control deck originally. This is a while ago. This also was not... This is a standard deck, apparently. Here it is. Look at this. This is from... This is from 2011. My God. This was from seven years ago. That's unbelievable. Two Karn Liberated... Uh, uh, f funny enough, this standard deck looks like a modern deck. It's got Karn Liberated, Worm Coil Engine, uh, Tezzeret's Gambit, Tumble Magnets, but there's obviously a bunch of new cards as well. So... Wow, that article is from seven years ago. That is crazy. How, God, the amount of time I've spent in my in my life playing this stupid game is pretty <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> it's a children's card game. And I'm like, bro, listen, there are more adults playing Magic than children, and this is not geared towards children. God, that tilts me so... It's because it's such a sound bite. It's, it's a sound bite that people like to, to just parrot, and it, it doesn't actually make any sense. It's not even... <clears throat> Like, most people who play this game are in the age range from, like, 17 to 30. Yeah, Magic Magic is not a cheap game. I mentioned it because Magistrate Scepter was brought to Modern, and it's a deck that has... What is Magic? I don't even know what that card does, so we're going to actually find out. Let's look at that Scepter. Look at all these Scepters. This is, like, my test run of how tomorrow's going to go, because I'm sitting. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, because I'm 19, and it was originally uh, Mercadian Mass card. <gasps> oh! What does that card do? You remove three charge counters from it, and you take an extra turn. Oh, that's pretty good. But you got that proliferates. Oh, interesting. I'm game. Uh, what's the other one? What was the other one we are looking for? Planar Bridge? Planar Things? What colorless instants are there? Actually, you I mean you make a joke, but uh, warping whale and um, what's it? Return to dust or whatever. All is dust, which is a sorcery. No, 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 no. There's, there's, well, there's one that's like, it's maybe it's a sorcery though. It's like seven mana and it exiles a permanent. Oh, that's like Titan something. <clears throat> no, you're thinking of a three mana one. There's a seven mana one. I don't know, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> God, I don't need your sass. Paradox Engine, that's what we're looking for. But there's also the planar cards, right? Astral Cornucopia and Everflowing Chalice are both fun to cast. You have certain, oh my god. Oh my god. Planar Portal and Planar Bridge are the are the key. Search layer for a card. I put that card into your hand. Planar Bridge is nice, though, because it puts it on the battlefield. Oh, how much is this guy? Oh, dang it. 98 cents. That's How much is the regular one? 
Oh, two cents. All right. Well, I'm on board for the two cent model. How much is planar portal? Oh, I see. You're going to be like this. 85 cents. Good lord, that's a lot of money. How about this? How about this planar portal? How about that guy? 6 cents. Dang, the original's 85 cents and the stupid white border one is What about this one? Uh, oh my god, the foil one's 44 cents. All right, perfect. We're getting the foils cuz they're actually cheaper and they're black border. Huh. Great. I just want to get all the basic cards that <laughs> So that I can put this deck together. How much is the... How, oh, tell me. Masterpiece? Huh? Dang it again. 66 cents. All right. Oh, no. There it is. Scour from Existence. That's the card. Exile any permanent for seven mana. Wow, what a deal. <laughs> hmm. There it is. Look at that. What a bargain. I'm pretty sure I have Surge Nodes. Yep, we do. What's that thing do? Uh, it enters the battlefield with six charge counters. Remove a charge counter from it to put a charge counter on an artifact, which is nice for this because it uses like charge counters. So. Uh -huh. Let's look up Astral Cornucopia. Got those guys. Uh, Ugin and all his dust I obviously have. Orbs of Warding I'm pretty sure I have. I have two Orbs of Warding. What's this card go for? Ooh, Inventor's Fair would probably be good. Oh, 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 six. I uh, have Inventor's Fair. That's obviously good. Uh, Tunnel Magnet, I obviously have. Scepter, we're getting. And I'm pretty sure that's a bunch of the stuff we want. You okay, man? I'm all right. Made some weird noises there. Those are some weird drinking noises, bro. All right, let's start with this. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we have things like Core Tapper, Voltaic Key, and Clasp. Uh, Clasp is what? Four to... Oh, proliferating for four. But, the, I mean, the Neg 1, Neg 1 is actually pretty reasonable. Scroll down in the chat. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm going to look at the mana base here because I want to see exactly what we're looking for. Uh, Glimmer Post is interesting. Is there... That's, that's the only... That's the only Locus, right? Aren't the post banned or something? Uh, cloud post is banned. Glimmer post is not. Because this doesn't double your mana. It just gains you life. So you gain one, and then you gain two, and then you gain three, and then you gain four. It's okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, it's just better to have Radiant Fountain, though, right? I mean, Radiant Fountain is... You gain two for the first one, and for the other one, you gain one. And then you gain two for the second one, for the other one, you gain two. So now you're up to three and four. Then you gain six and three, so then you break even. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. It's ten versus eight total, but it only you're only actually seeing an increase on Plus the Plus they don't come and play tapped, ones. right? Uh do Glimmer Post come to play tapped? No. Neither ones do, so that's good. Okay. <clears throat> uh you can add counters if you have surge node, but that's it, right? Like if you don't have a surge node, it's hard to add a counter to it. You can't proliferate a counter onto something that doesn't have that counter already. But that being said, let's see if Magic Online has the capability to search for charge counter. Oh, it looks like it does. All right, that's pretty good. Um, huh. I feel like Tron lands really benefit this deck, right? I, they kind of have to, right? Tumble Magnet seems good, right? All right, let's keep looking. Everflowing Chalice does seem pretty good. Oh, not that one though, I guess. Because I only have that one. Where my Everflowing where my Everflowing Chalice is at? Jitte's pretty good, right? We can put Jitte's in the deck. Yeah. Yeah, do that. <laughs> oh, you know it's also good Soul Ring. <laughs> Touche. It's a good point. I see what you did there. Put a charge counter on target non creature artifact. Huh. This card doesn't seem terrible. Tron lands belong in every modern deck. What about like 
We're at blue eye control. Wrecked. You mean blue eye Tron, right? Oh dang. Blue light blue like Tron Troll. <laughs> Contron. Contron. John Tron? You can tap core tapper. What does core tapper do? Is it two words? I bet it's two words and you just tricked me. Oh, do I just not have any core tappers? That's weird to me. Why wouldn't I have this card? Put a charge counter on artifact. Put two charge counters on artifact. <gasps> Biscuits. Karn is a good control card. All right, hold on. Hold on. We're, we're going to... I'm getting excited now. The gears are turning here. No, I think you were right. Core tapper is one word. I just didn't know it because... I thought I would have them. Oh my god, one? How much are these guys? Eight cents? Woof! What were the other ones that you mentioned that I should probably look for? Clasp I have, key I have, surge note I have. Okay, cool. Alright. <clears throat> I, I was always a big fan of Lux Cannon just because it takes out everything. I do worry it might be too slow. Are you just trying to play Lantern Control? Wow. Urza? Four mines. Four power plantos. <sighs> Alright, what is it? What is it? Paradox? Is that the card? Let's look up Paradox here. Paradox Engine. Remember, you cast a spell, untap all non land permanents you control. <clears throat> Yeah, that seems pretty busted here. What, like three of those because they're legendary? Seems fine. Like two Karns and two Ugans. At least. So we're going to have 12 more lands, which puts us up to 53. The problem is, like, where do we make all the room for these cards? Nope. Yeah, it's Astral Cornucopia, but I don't know how many we can fit in here is the problem. Right now we're pretty light on removal stuff. Kind of like your mom, I think. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly like that. Exactly like my mother. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to play any colored cards. I think this is mono color colorless. What about the laser run and be colorless? The laser run? What does that even mean? Laser gun? Lux cannon. Do you mean Lux? Wait, no. What are you? What's Iron Chef saying? What are you saying right now? Are we still at the grocery store? I think he means the uh, the pay fifty life card. Oh, this trash can. Oh, we could play this days. member. This member's good. I want to put three inventor's fairs. I don't want. I don't know if you want four. It's legendary. <laughs> Oh, scrap trawler! Wow. So now you're just trying to now you're just trying to turn us into. What do you call it? Oh my god! See, this is what I mean. Like now we're getting we're now we're getting overrun with Ratchet ideas bomb here. Ratchet bomb seems good. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put one of all the cards that are being suggested into the sideboard, and then we can take a look at. How do I not have lux cannons? That's weird. That's not. That's definitely not how you spell Gambit. I know. I was an X Men fan. Too bad the peak of that show is the, the actual intro. What the X Men cartoon? Yeah. Get the hell out of here, man. It's not. It's not as good as you might remember it. It, might it, had its, it had its moments, but... Engineered Explosives. Well, we have no colors. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. It's terrible, no. What do you have, Chalice? <laughs> I will... Uh, did I put... No, you don't. Everflowing Chalice? No, 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 no. Chalice of the Void. Oh. Oh, that's a mean card. You're, that's a mean card, Bridge. 
Uh, the problem with my problem with ensnaring bridge is how frequently are we able to empty our hand? Like this doesn't seem like a deck that just dumps out its hand. Yeah, worn power stone and throwing dynamo are not legal in modern. What about the the make everything but artifacts cost one more guy? Make everything but artifacts cost oh lodestone golem. Yeah, that seems good. Huh. That isn't bad. You're right. Put that guy over there. You can use Karn Plus to empty your hand. For if we're in a position where we have Karn out and we still need to empty our hand for Ensnaring Bridge, Wait, I think we're probably already Isn't ahead. the smaller Karn insane in this deck? The four mana one? Yes. That seems like a real good, good idea. That's interesting. Also, you can proliferate onto it. And his minus is really relevant. You make like five fives and six sixes pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. Oh, God. See, there's just too many cards. Walking Ballista, you're going to go over here. Crucible was also mentioned. <clears throat> so Ghost Quarter is a thing. Probably want to run those, yeah. I don't like Field of Ruin because we don't really have basics to search for, and I want to have to have basics. Uh, Tectonic Edge. Man, too slow for this format. Ghosty Quarter. Now I'm going to do the good ones. I like the Innistrad ones better. 19 lands. So we want probably 24 lands. So it's five more lands. So we like have three slots left in the deck. Is Darksteel Citadel matter? Like, I don't actually love Darksteel Citadel. It's here. indestructible, but it's... Uh... Like, it just doesn't do anything. I'd rather just have a land that does something. Yeah, I don't like Crucible. We're not really abusing it. Oh, we could play the Nexus. Uh, O-Stone seems bad because it's going to kill literally all of our stuff. Which which Nexus, though? Ink Moth or Blink Moth? I guess Ink Moth because we proliferate, right? Yeah. And that seems pretty okay. So we get one extra land. Kermit keeps saying Stuffy Doll. <laughs> Oh, man. Why not Maze? What Maze? You mean Maze of If, that is not legal. Alright, I'm going to look up this Void card that you keep screaming. That one's not bad. Just one of? Sure. Alright, so now we have three slots left. I have no idea what those three slots could even be. Talarian Academy. Wow. Seems fine. Ancient Tomb. <laughs> City of Traitors. I don't want you guys to have, I don't want you guys in my stream anymore. I want you guys to leave. I feel like the cannon is not going to happen. The cannon's not going to happen? The Lux cannon? I agree with yeah. that. Like, you have to remove three charge counters to destroy one permanent. That ain't... I, I don't like in Staring Bridge over Tumble Magnet. Like, usually you want to just be able to, like, tap your biggest guy down, move on with my life. I don't want to pay four mana for a 2-2 joy is familiar. Oh, Caracas. That's a good one. That's, that's... I don't feel like the other Buchanan, that one, would pay 50 life. I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's happening either. We're not really storming. so that We're not storming. Out. I don't like Crucible because the only thing we, the only answer sacking is Ghost Quarter. Yeah, so we can get rid of that. Uh, like I said, in Staring Bridge, I just think these are worse. Right, Maybe so they're good in the sideboard. Maybe. I think same thing with Chalice. Uh, same thing with Lodestone Golem. I don't think Lux Cannon's great. Walking Ballista seems okay. I like Tezzeret's Gambit because it just draws us cards. I feel like Ballista could be worth a slot. But, like, how are we surviving is my question. Tumble Magnet. I guess Tron also... We can just get Tron naturally, right? What about some Eldrazi? That's actually not terrible. I might want one more Karn, maybe. 
Yeah, I like that card. Oh, Traxos actually seems pretty great. That's See, that's a good suggestion. Yeah, Traxos actually might be worth it. The wall, Yeah, we're using it. We have it right here. When are we never going to tr trigger Traxos? <laughs> oh, Mazes and one of each Gate. That's clearly the same deck we're running now. Um, Unwinding Clock. What does that do? That's something that was mentioned. I think it untaps all your stuff and upkeep. Untap all artifacts during each other player's untap step. I don't think that's great. Like, that's just worse than Paradox Engine for our deck, I think. Play the Oh, we legal. should be playing Warm Coil Engines. That is a win condition. It's also a defense card. <clears throat> it is also a defense card. Uh, I'm going to try it like this first. The I'm old 61? Three, no, I'm going to take one out. This is a little bit, I'll leave the sideboard like this. I like dismembered in the sideboard solemn? just in case. Eh, I don't know about solemn. We don't have any lands to search for. What are the colorless board wipes? All is dust. Actually, all is dust seems pretty good. Really? All is D is going to show up all these cards? I'm going to add three all is dust. Take out two ratchet bombs. Take out... <coughs> I worry this is too many of these type things. I think you can cut one chalice from the sideboard. I think three is good. All right. All right let's. I want to start like this and just see how it works because I'm not sure if. I'm not sure what we do or don't need. Maybe one Magister Scepter can get cut. Uh, we don't have any graveyard hate. That's true, but we have to figure out what we're doing first. Oh, I like Barrier Ruin actually. Yeah, that's better than. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm going to add two Buried Ruin. I'll take out the Zalfir and Void and maybe like... I guess one's fine. Actually, we'll take out <coughs> one Ghost Ruin for the second Buried Ruin. I like that a lot. All right, let's try it like this. Like, I just want to get a feel Did for the deck. save the deck? Yeah, it saves automatically. Save okay. the deck? God, save the deck. All right, let's see what's going on now. Oh boy. Now I have the X Men theme song stuck in my head. I don't understand. It's only you to blame. I blame you. I like how Felipe, our roommate Felipe, posted this thing. Or I guess a friend of his posted a uh, like a poll on Facebook, and it's like, how many states are there in America? 50 or 52? I guess because like one of his friends probably thought there was only fifty two or fifty two, and uh, he was like, "Okay, let me just prove this." Um, and our, our roommate Felipe is like, "Let's just say there's a reason why we have a hundred senators. You guys are dumb." And I'm like, "If people don't know that there are fifty states, they're not going to know that there's a hundred senators. So you can't use a more obscure fact to defend why people should know the less obscure fact. Like that's not." That's not how that works. It's like when someone doesn't understand and you go like you go deeper into the subject they don't right, understand. Right. You're like, you're like <laughs> <clears throat> It's kinda like when I explained um what a bober is, you know? <laughs> and I told you it was a sober scrober, but you didn't know what that is, so Right, and you're like, but everybody knows that. So you're, yeah, you're using a more obscure thing. To define, to define or like defend the less obscure thing, and it's like, but that doesn't. Where is crew ultimatum? It's in our sideboard. Yeah, you don't want to main deck it because sometimes it's just a dead draw, you know. A bober is a very sober scrober. I love that we're gonna play Inventor's Fair and then we're gonna play Urza's Power Plant. And they're gonna be like, oh. 
I thought there were 102 centers. Are there? Because, see, that would be hilarious. No. Apparently, it says there's only... It says there's 100. But, uh, you know. I just had to stay perfectly still. Yeah, there you go. See? I mean, like, I didn't... Oh, oh, Contagion Clasp on the Dark Confidant, man. The value. Oh, baby, this is going to be the best. Got him. We did got him. And then we get to go Tumble Magnet. Oh, man, what if we draw the mine and then I'm going to feel real stupid for leading on this Inventor's Fair? Old Kitchen Sinks. Here we go. It's going to be mine. All right, it's not a mine. It's not a mine! I kind of want to just tumble magnets the next time we can play this for two. More like Kitchen Stinks, am I right? Yeah. Also, if we just draw if we just draw a mine off the top, we get to play Ugin. And then all of a sudden I know exactly why people play Tron decks. <laughs> and then I all of a sudden I became the bad guy. Oh, you're gonna tap it? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna take three there. I guess you're right. You're probably right. And you, you're always right. But if they abrupt decay this, I'd rather get some value out of it, you know? I don't know. Look, they're gonna abrupt decay it right now. They're gonna assassin's trophy it. Oh, we need to put some basics in here because if our opponents have Ghost Quarter or things like that, like I really don't want to not just lose a land. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it set us back quite a bit. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> All right, take it easy. All right, take it easy. Maybe I just play Magister Scepter. Yeah, that's fine. That was rude. Yeah, so one thing we're going to change. We're going to add one Wastes at least. And we can take out... We can take out a third. I think we need two Ghost Quarters should be fine. Hey man, so we got some we got some more hot sauce. We got some dirty dicks hot sauce, hot pepper sauce with a tropical twist, and I want you to read the ingredients on this bad boy. Habanero pe peppers, peppers, mangoes, pineapples, vinegar, bananas, tomatoes, brown sugar, raisins, onions, garlic, salt, and spices. Seems good. You went real fast there. You didn't really savor any of those ingredients, man. I'm gonna get a whiff. Yes, you get a good whiff. It smells good. It smells good, he says. It's got bananas in it, so you know I'm all game. Yeah, that's weird, right? And it's got mangoes. Yeah, the weird ingredients are pineapple, bananas, and raisins. And Pine mangoes. Pineapples aren't that weird in hot sauce. Pineapples aren't weird in pineapple flavored hot sauce, but it's not like super It says tropical. Your mother says tropical. Keeping it cool by the fan? Yeah, I want to cool it off. Maybe so it won't be so hot. Yes, I want to cool it off. God. Why are you like this? Alright, so we're going to tap this. Play this. Keep this one. Two, three. Play Chalice with Multi Kicker for Dose. Tap it. Clasp it. Put a counter on that idiot. And we are going to win the game now. Can't can't be bought. I don't know what that means. Can't be bought. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, the, can't now they're be just sold though. Oh, you get Tarmogoyf. That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not the bay that is the kids. Putting dirty dicks in your mouth is such a <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Oh wow, two Tarmogoyfs. When one Tarmogoyf isn't enough. I don't think we're going to do anything here. We're not. 
Oh, we do gain life now. That's nice. Our artifact deck is really... Push it to the limit. How close are we to Ugin? Uh, one land away if we proliferate, because we can put a counter on this, this. So it's it's interesting, because that one land they hit is really bad for us, because now we can go... We can pay four and put a counter on this, and then we'll only have three afterwards. Whereas if they kept the land, we'd have another four that we can go three, four, and then activate uh, Magister Scepter to put a counter on that as well. So it's it's kind of funny. It's a little bit funny. And this feeling. And if they activate both of these, one, two, so one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we take, we, we can tap one of them. Otherwise, this is three, four, five, six, seven, so we can Ugin next turn. Uh, that's actually pretty insane, though. I think we have to try for that. Yeah, Ugin just crushes them. Oh, we can also kill the, the Kitchen Finks, so that's good, too. Wow, this seems insane if they don't hit a, like, a... If they don't hit a Thoughtseize, I think we're in great shape here. Yep, that's fine. Okay, that's also fine. All of this is fine. Okay, that's not a Thoughtseize. Okay, act activate Ario. That's from the Italian. Come on, one That's land. a lot of damage. Let's clasp here. One, two, three, four. You don't want to put any little Liana? <laughs> you know, I don't think so. I think I'm. I think I'm past that. Push it to the limit. If we used mana and if we use this instead, we'd have one, two, three, four. We'd have two lands up. I don't think that does anything though. So. Actually, I wonder if doing that during our turn would have been better, because then we could have tapped this to play oh, the other You didn't put a magnet. counter on your little thing? My little thing? Oh, it's four mana to put a charge counter on that. Okay. Oh, I did a terrible thing! Oh, I got so excited about the land, I wanted to tap it first! Oh, no. Yep, that was that's a game loss right there. Uh, well, you can play another tumble magnet, so it's not necessarily a game, right? Mm, yeah, it's not, but it still feels terrible. Oh, that was so bad. It was so close, too. They also only have one card, so we tap both of these guys down. Actually, that's... It's not terrible. Oh, God, it was so bad, though. This is another situation where we actually could have done four, put it on here, and then put a counter. Yeah, we just messed up here. This is actually... Oof. This deck is actually hard to play because everything does things, and you have to sequence it in a way that, like... You want to activate the thing that puts a counter on, and then you want to proliferate, but sometimes you have to proliferate first to, to get enough mana to put the counter on the other thing. It's really kind of complicated, to be quite honest with you. Okay, this is actually good. We're doing okay. Alright, so I'm going to tap you. And then I'm going to tap you. We're going to go to one here, but they're at nothing. <laughs> what does that even mean? I have no idea. Yeah, why don't you shut your mouth? Yeah, we should have been magist We should have the, the counters on the Magister Sphinx here. Right, I think we're actually... Lift. No, we're not dead because we still have the Tumble Magnets. That's all right. That's pretty good. Yep. All right. We're good. We're good. We're doing it. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, the way I just threw that Inventor's Fair away, that, that's unbelievable. One, two, three. Yeah, we've, we've made a couple misplays already, so hopefully you guys are still sticking sticking it out. Whatever that means. Alright, so four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it. Easy peasy. Why well, are we just dead, though, because of the lands? No, we have two tall magnets. Alright. I, I thought the same thing. <clears throat> Thanks for your song, yeah. My gift is my song, yeah. This one's, one's for you. you. What are we, negative three? Yeah, obviously, negative three. Seems good. Peace out, nerds. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, man. Of course, if they can kill one of our Tumble Magnets before we combat. Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, no, wait. No, because they're not going to have enough mana to activate both if they do that. Sure. 
You got it. A turn too late, good sir. A turn. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care. None of the things you're doing matter. How does that feel? To have none of your decisions matter. Feels Batman, I bet. Feels Batman. <laughs> Good times. Oh, and we keep getting life, too? Good lord. Oh, do we just... Oh, ooh, we, we have to take damage to, one. to do that. Ooh. Does going to one actually matter, though? Maybe, if they have, like, collector get... brutality. Yeah. Hold on, we have to think of what we're, we're doing here. Are you never going to draw cards, though? Like... Well, do we really need to? We have an Ugin on board. We have a Magister Scepter that we can probably go infinite with at some point. Um, yeah, we need more lands for that. Because we have to keep tumblebagging and proflating to live. Yeah, but we're also... No, we're going to put a counter on it. Like, we're going to pay four to put a counter on this. Use this to, to clasp. And then we're going to negative two to get rid of the Tarmogoyf. So one, two, three, four. Uh, proliferate. One, two, three. Four. Oh, and on the Ugin, that's busted. Oh God, I keep forgetting to, to put a counter on this first. All right, doesn't matter. We're still good. We're still good. Yeah, that is busted. I agree with you. Oh man, I keep forgetting to put the counter on this. We probably could have taken at least two more turns this. I can tell you what deck we'll never beat with this deck. Tell me. Mono red. Yes, that is probably accurate. Well, we could board into things to be mono red. Chalice against mono red is actually pretty insane. You just put it on yeah. one. Uh oh, is it collector brutality? Maelstrom pulse on tumble magnet. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, that kills us. No, not yet. It doesn't. Right. They just go to. They just make a guy and we die. Oh, you're right. I thought we were at four for some reason. No. We did. Wow, that's really sad. It was close. I mean, we threw the game away. Wow, that was so close though, dude. Yeah, if you didn't oop on the land, we would have definitely... And we, made, we made a bunch of mistakes there. If you didn't oop on the land... Oh, uh, I don't think Ensnaring Bridge is actually great against Mono Red, because, like, they're not attacking that much. They're mostly burning your face, and, like, you're never going to have your hand... Like, Mono Red wins on, like, turn four, and you're never going to have your hand empty right, by turn three problem. or four. Like, like, if you could get a bridge out really quick somehow, sure, but... It might be good in this matchup, though. And just went off of a uh, Ugin bolt or something. Hmm. I think the take extra turns thing is probably too cute. It might be. It's so much mana, like, I don't know. I like the idea of it, though. I also don't know if I love Tezzeret's Gambit. Like, just drawing two cards does not seem as good. Especially when we have no way to produce blue. Like, doesn't, isn't Karn just better than Tezzeret's Gambit? Pretty much. It doesn't proliferate, but you're drawing at least one card off of Karn. Or making, like, a 5-5. Five five. I feel like Karn is just a better win condition. Like, if that was a Karn, I would have 100% windmill slammed at that turn. And then proliferated onto it. Uh, whereas, it, since it was just... A Tezzeret scan, but I just didn't even... Also could have made a blocker, which would have saved us. Right. Uh, yeah, so yeah. And it, and it would have been like a... It would have been like a 6-6 six, six or something. It would have been huge. 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 So even if they took away Tumble Magus, we would have still had Scepter, um, Contagion Clasp. It would have been a 3-3 three, three at the very least. I don't know how much Karns go for. Almost 10. I'll just borrow this guy. I'll, I'm gonna, I want two, and you only have one, so I will go to a, a more fulfilling goat bot here. Goat bot, fulfill me. 
Well, that just sounds weird. I will play first. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. This hand seems great. Also, proliferating, putting a surge counter onto this guy seems great. I don't think we want Staff of Nin just because it costs six mana, but I am a big Staff of Nin fan. I would sooner put in more Worm Coil engines. And you can tell everybody. I think the odds of going infinite on turn four with Scepter is pretty low, though. You have to really commit to a lot of cards that you might otherwise not be preferred playing. Turn two this and then put a two counters on. It's pretty strong. Hey, 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 hey. You okay? Never. You're never okay? Mm -mm. <coughs> Interesting. It's, it's so funny that it has the ability to cast it. Like, it's so rare that you want to cast it without multi-kicker. Oh, I, I made multi-kicker, too, because I actually... I'm, I'm going to use two mana, so I use multi-kicker, too. There we go. So now I can tap this to play another Surge node. And this gives us a lot of mana. I'm not going to do that until the end of their turn, though, in case they want to, like, kill it. I don't want to waste two counters. I don't know what animation module does off the top of my head, but maybe. Yeah, I'm taking out the Karn's Gambits, or the Tezzeret's Gambit. I'll take out one Paradox Engine, because I think this might be too many. Well, it's, it's 59 cards, so. Right, so we get a free card. No, no, I mean, it might be too many Paradox Engines, not too many cards in the deck. No. Oh, I just didn't mean to do that. I don't know what animation module does off the top of my head. There it is. One mana. Hmm. Um, it basically just proliferates for four and it can't target, or for three and it can't target players. But the first half of like plus one plus one counter on a permanent just doesn't do anything. <coughs> <coughs> wow, Mike coughed and I sneezed. Hashtag sickness stream. Uh, we definitely don't want moxes because you're never going to actually turn them on. Like, you're never going to have three artifacts. Like, this is a rare situation where we have three, but like, it's not an affinity deck, so. I don't know. I think we get it pretty often. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Oh, this costs mana. I did not know that. I thought you could just tap it. See, another thing that's good to learn. All right, so... This is also a next turn Karn if they don't kill the Everflowing Chalice, which is pretty nuts. I would definitely take two here. Well, what else, what's your... You mean you don't you want to tap? You don't want to tap this guy down? Nah, man. Nah, man. I ain't about they that ain't tap that much life. Damage. You don't think two is a lot of damage? No. 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 Yeah, if, if the animation module said uh, charge counter as well, that'd be great, because then you can just, like, add a charge counter, make a 1-1. One, one. That would be actually pretty insane. Yeah, that'd be really good. But a rookie don't. hatchery is pretty interesting. Okay, hatchery into the battlefield with X charge counters on it. Five. Tap, put it one. The hmm. five mana and a tap is pretty expensive, though. Yeah, that's a lot. You're asking a lot for me here. And it costs XX. It's a lot of investment. It is a lot of investment. You ain't wrong. I do like these Karns, though. I think these Karns are a good addition. This deck is dirtily, though. You ain't wrong. You could call it Yurtle the Dirtle. I want to take out one Scepter out. I don't think we're ready for taking out both of them. I think they do have a... I think they have a valuable ability. God damn, I keep opening... Uh, 
Uh, where can you find the list? Nowhere. We are building it right now. That's literally the point of this stream. This is a fresh brew. <laughs> I'll take dose. I wish... Oh, man. I wish Telematic could tap lands, but... You know, then it's just Icy Manipulator, so... Oh, here we go. Well, I'll kill your Urza's Bind. Yeah, this card is so good. I really don't like that we don't have um, a waste in the main deck right yeah, now. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It keeps us off Karn, unfortunately. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> I just gotta hate you. God, I hate you. I was throwing out 10,000 magic cards and the bag ripped. Oh my god. Who posted this? I just... Uh, some guy. Man, that's rough. Oh, God. Uh, why throw those out, though? Just sell those. You can probably get 100 bucks for, for 10,000 magic cards. Like... Uh, would I be willing to play Scapeshift? I don't have a problem playing Scapeshift. I have no issues with that. Uh yeah, we're done here. We're just gonna pass the turn and hope you don't hope you don't thought seize us, I guess. Also, that's what you get for putting it in a bag. I assume he means like a trash bag. Nihil Spellbomb, that's interesting. Yeah, like a bag is not the most ideal vehicle for magic cards. Oh, that's fine. Unless you go swamp into Thought Seize, in which case I'll have a sadness. Oh, they took two. That's what's gonna happen. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We are good to go. They brought that in. We don't care about that though. You're correct. I guess they I guess they saw buried ruin buried ruin in uh in Venner's Fair. No, in Venner's Fair doesn't get it back though, right? No. Yeah, that's weird though. Venner's Fair gets it out of your deck. You Mike knows that because of Commander. I know that because I read the card. <laughs> okay, yeah. man, I'm sorry. That was also why. You don't have to get all aggressive about it. I don't want to add that much. Maybe mana. I want to get all aggressive about it. Yeah, no, you're right. That's fair. You might want to do that. Inventor's fair. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. Are you ready for this? <clears throat> it's going to be pretty sick. Five, six, seven. Karn liberated. Contagion clasp. Exile this idiot. Clasp your other idiot. And this is how you do it. Clock a pinning? I don't know what that is. Is that like some kind of. Is that what the kids are calling it these days? Hey man, you want to go clock a pinning? No, no one wants to do that. Okay. Inventor Fair? I hardly know. I barely. Wow, that's. I feel like you're reaching. Man, they got their graveyard, uh their graveyard deal with on on point here <laughs> now see now i'm in a tezzeret's gambit faux show here's the so one thing we can do is we can actually proliferate onto the karn yeah draw first i leave up one of the mines well, we're not going to be able to... We're never going to oh, yeah, have yeah, both yeah. draw right. pieces yeah, this yeah, turn. Right. Uh, you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Done. Uh, Worm Coil Engine here seems pretty okay. So does Surge Node number three. Actually, we could, we, keep, we could keep moving a counter out of this and then activating and then playing it, but... It's almost better to just not play the Surge Node and use one of the Surge Nodes to put a counter on something. 
You might be right. Magic's hard. Do we just exile one of these guys? But then if they kill... No, this is actually fine. Or we can just exile a card in their hand. Or an exile a card in their hand. I don't know what they could have to get rid of this guy that doesn't also give us two blockers. So I'm pretty okay with that, actually. Yeah. What did we get? A Verdant Catacomb? Sure. Also, Karn gets beefy real quick. Yeah, these Worm Crawlers were red edition. This is great. Uh, probably not playing Escape Shift League after this. I actually don't even play leagues. I just play matches because it's easier to tweak decks in between. I don't want to get committed to five rounds with a with a deck that I may not approve of. It's also quite a big time commitment after this aye, aye, to just aye, jump aye, into a... Aye, aye. Would you please say Surge Node ten times fast? Uh, no. Uh, also, if you keep disrupting the stream in such a way, I will have to ban you. Okay, let me try. Surge node, 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 surge node. Noge? I said noge. Dang it. <laughs> surge noge. That's a classic. That is a classic. Somebody remove my spine. <laughs> Please. Someone take it from me. What's your favorite uh, Hungry Howie's flavored crust? Honestly? Yeah. Well, no, no, lie to me, please. Probably the butter garlic. Assassin's Trophy on Karn. Okay. This does smell good. Unfortunately, again, we have no waste to get. So, like, they're literally just playing all the cards. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, I didn't have a waste. Yeah, having a waste in the deck is great. I'd like to have two, but, you know. Somebody rip Mike's spine out. Are you familiar with the old Legacy deck, Veteran Planeswalkers, Sultai deck, with Karn, Liliana? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, getting close. Oh, we also have Buried Ruin to get back an artifact. We don't have one, but, you know, just in case. But in the future. <clears throat> in the future is right. Do I just tap this guy? No, I'm just going to attack for a million here. And somebody rip out Mike's spine. This is the Mike Spine song. We can also get rid of their go their treetop village as well. I'm singing from the pain. <laughs> yeah, Mike's having some back issues. Uh, we do have two Magistrate Scepters in the deck. Yes. Um, so I want to play this node. And if you want to, like, kill the node because you think that's the most threatening, then, you know, knock yourself out, I guess. Now, this is the, the time when we need that scepter. Yes, because this would be infinite infinite city here. What is this one mana going to do? All right, sure. You got it. Yeah, Voltaic Key <laughs> might be worth the consideration. Oh, you're going to kill this, huh? That's real mature. Again, uh, no basics. I do want to actually go use this. Put a node counter on this guy. Because if we're proliferating, we're already putting one counter on all of these anyway. So we might as well use the counters first. And then just put the and just replace them. So it makes no sense to not put the counters on things. Time of sure. Still not as big as our big boy. That's what she said. Um, sure. I'm just going to let you attack, actually. Because I, if I tap this guy, we, we have to tap the on our turn to tap the Targoyf down. And that's what we want to do. So we're going to go kill your stupid land. Okay. Please stop doing that. <clears throat> um, surge node on Tumble Magnet. Shut up and take my money. Surge node times ten. One bad back bug. Be, be, be cubed. <laughs> That's amazing. And counter on this guy. And proliferate. I'll use this mana and I'll come up short because one, two, three, four, five. Done. And I'll tap your goifo down. 
And now we're just going to attack for a bajillion. And we're going to hopefully draw Ugin. And that would be just beautiful. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah, sometimes you just draw Ugin, I guess. I'm going to go neg two here and see what happens. Is that good? Seems okay. Uh, Your turn. I agree that I think two wastes is where you want to be. Because if you draw one, you still want to... Like, you don't want paths to get you. You don't want things... Like, the fact that they're able to, like, kill three of our lands without any real consequence is pretty bad. I do like a second Wastes. A lot. I want to take out one of the Ink Moth Nexuses, because they're cool, but, like, I don't think they're one of the primary win conditions. And there are lots of ways to deal with lands in Modern, so... Man, <laughs> these, these Planeswalkers are amazing. Gotta take the gamuts out again. Well, this is... No, this is sideboarding. Oh. I, why would I have to oh, do right. it? Yeah, no, it reverted your deck back to your original form. I, I tend to put on, like, one all as dust. Shut up and take my I'm going to put one all as dust in there. One Ugin top deck buck. Nice. Nice. Well, I'm about to bust. <laughs> it's never not funny. Uh, I'll take out one ensnaring bridge, I guess. We're on the draw, so I don't really feel like bridging. Uh, the crystal is great with Inventor's Turn and Bird Rune. Maybe that's true, but, like, I don't feel like we ever draw enough of them. Or we, we, I don't feel like we ever have enough mana to, like... This hand seems great, actually. Um, we don't have enough mana to regularly, like, crack it, return it to play, crack it again, play what we searched for. Like, by that point, you should already be winning, is really my theory. I might just want to play Ink Moth and attack for two immediately. Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's only lands. Like, I actually don't even care about that, which is kind of comical. But now we can attack with our Nexus boy. Why not? All lands. You know what this does? If a land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces oh, one. Okay. Yeah, this isn't like. I mean, it turns off our Tron lands, but I mean, like, that's fine. That's not really a. That's not really a mean win condition for us, anyway. It's a tireless tracky. That's pretty good. Can you put a counter on that boy. Yeah, but that's all we can do. It's all I can do. We can also just attack. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a good long-term goal, though. Actually, if we don't... So here's the thing. If we don't do this now, next turn, if they don't crack their fetch, or their, their clue, we can actually deal two to this guy. Yeah. And try to kill it, which I think is better. Why there's no key does not need to... I, I don't think we just... We just don't... There's nothing... Like, key isn't really ramp. Like, we only have Everflowing Chalice for... Oh, that sucks. They only have Everflowing Chalice as, as far as ramp goes, so it's like, it's not really... Doesn't really get anything for us. I mean, I can't think of a single situation in these two games where I really wanted a key. Wow. All right. That's something. I mean, we do get to play Karn, though, which is a 2-2. Two -two, or makes a 2-2, two -two, rather. Oh, well, we draw another Clasp. Wow, if they didn't have two of these, we're still in good shape. We still, could still kill this, but... Not, not today. They only have two cards, though. I really would like to get rid of this guy, but... They crack this. They make another clue. They crack two clues. This guy's a five. Karn goes to six. And then they also attack with this. Yeah. It's not good. So I guess we just make a silver token. A silver boy. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Ink Moth is better than multiples, but you only need to really hit once if you're trying to proliferate. Um, the other thing is Inventor's Fair is 
I mean, you don't want to draw multiples, but you still want to draw one, especially for the life gain or the search. Especially after you sideboard things in. Um, yeah, just jump block here. That's the whole point of this guy. Because <clears throat> now you're spending a turn to... I feel like... Why, didn't, why wouldn't you attack with this as well? That's weird. The problem is Contagion Clasp now gets rid of the 1-1 counter instead of actually putting a counter on it, so it's really hard to... Well, we can get rid of that guy now, which is kind of nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> Man, I got so excited about that. All right. Oh, a Gambit and a Surge node, huh? That's interesting. Well, next time we can play Worm Coil, which is pretty beefy. You didn't want to give me that gambit? Add three. Add one. Um, definitely killing your boy. Kill your boy. <laughs> and I guess we can play surge node here, or we can... You can't put a counter on this. So we'll just play node arena. Oh, we gotta pay two because of the stupid thing. That's awkward. Team's fine. Yeah, but alternatively you can block here. I don't know if that's better. Like, I don't know if we care about this right now. Sure. Maybe we do. Well, we can't put a we can put a counter. Can we do that? Uh, pay two. One, two. I like that because we can put a counter on a thing that doesn't have a counter on it already. That's nice because it's not really proliferate. How you doing over there? You know. Basically dead? Yeah. <laughs> you My any, back like, is uncomfortable, but not, like, extremely uncomfortable. Have you taken any, like, Advil or anything for it? Nope. That's weird. Why not? Who knows? Okay. Good. I don't have any, randomly, so. Well, you can buy some, right? They sell them at stores, right? It's true. Okay. Charge counter, put a charge counter on an artifact. Okay, so that's not an option. Karn is just going to die here. I don't know if Ad will really help. Do you know how pain works? <laughs> <laughs> Are you brothers? No, we don't look alike. We don't have the same last name. No, we're not brothers. We're bros, but not brothers. Wow. Again, pretty annoying because we don't have any lands in our deck. It's so frustrating. I'm pretty sure we win this game at least 10 times if we just have one basic land in our deck. Yeah, it's super relevant. That's a good one, too. Uh, so. Doesn't really do much. Actually, can we? No, we can put a counter and then put a counter on it, so. It's not bad. Can we get something? Oh, we can get class back, but I don't really want to sack more lands. No. Yeah, all right. Worm Coil probably just wins this game for us. So. Right, but we do need another land for it, unfortunately. What we can do is we can Surge Node onto the Magister Sphere Scepter and then put a counter on the Magister Scepter and then take an extra turn next turn. So we can go Worm Coil, take an extra turn, which is nice. I mean, they're just drawing infinite, though.
Did you just explain not being related to the first group back that you don't have to say? Perhaps, but I thought it was like pretty. I mean, like Mike's name is comes up. A, okay, well, this is also why we're not brothers. Oh, you okay? No, but you know, I'll live. Mike heard is back by existing, so <laughs> that's his life now. This is weird that they don't attack with the treetop village, too, because this is almost like a two-turn clock. <clears throat> I'll assassin's trophy this in response, you see. Only needs three counters, right? Yes. Yeah, cool. Must be nice. How it'll land one time. Nope. All right, done. Just done. Yeah, this is why we want wastes in here. That was an oversight on my part, unfortunately. Um... Let's try again. I think those changes are fine. We took out the Tezzerets, um for two more Karns. Oh, we actually do. We have two more free spots. That's interesting. You did add the lands, right? Hmm? You did add the basics? Yes, we have two wastes in here okay. now. All right. All right. So... Yeah, there were so many turns where if we if we could find a land for Assassin's Trophy, Field of Ruin, or Ghost Quarter, like we just probably don't lose. Could try Voltaic Key. For what though? What are we untapping? I guess just overflowing chalice, the only thing that matters. Which is weird because it already has to have we already have to spend four mana on it, which means it has two counters. Yeah. Which means we have four lands and two uh, two counters on an Everflowing Chalice, which is already six mana. Yeah, that makes it just doesn't really do yeah. anything. Keys over engine? I don't like. I don't think so. Yeah, but like, there's you, like you have to realize we get to a point in the game, like in the later game, where like it doesn't matter if you're untapping. Like there were so many cards where we just don't need an extra charge counter. Like the charge counter was almost not really relevant. Like we want to get to like Worm Coil, Karn, and Ugin, and I'd rather be proliferating than, um, than clasping. And I don't think Modern has that many creatures where like they go wide and you need that many Tumble Magnet activations. Uh, I don't know if engine's doing much because I haven't played it yet, but being able to untap all our things is pretty good. Clock spinning? What does clock spinning do? Isn't that a blue card that we can't play because it's blue? Yes. Yeah, that's not that doesn't seem that great. Like that's just proliferate. But on a blue card instead. I'm gonna just look up proliferate. And see what cards have proliferate. <clears throat> I know Contagion Engine has it. Uh, negative one each creature. Oh, then Proliferate again. I kind of want one of these in the deck. And you got two slots. That could be one of them. Let's do that. And let's play one Astral Cornucopia as like a fifth Everflowing Chalice. Okay. All right, let's try that. think Taz should be in here. We can't play colors. Same. It's colorless. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you guys keep recommending uh, colored spells. Colored cards. It's a colorless control deck. There are no colors. Spell Skate is good. I do like that. We could have tried Phyrexian Metamorph, sure. Yeah, Astral for Zero is great, which is why I was like, this seems okay, because I don't want to pay three mana for it. But... Um, You know, stuff and things. It's pronounced Spelskite. Spelskite. <sighs> comma, 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 chameleon. Let's 
Let's play first. We're playing against Barnaby Jones here. Well, this hand is interesting. I'm going to mulligan it because six drops, eight drop is not where we want to be. This hand's better. This hand is much better. Um, I'll keep that on top. See, we do have the... We do have the wastes in hand, so... Have you guys tried Los Calientes? Yes, we have. I, we actually finished a bottle of Los Calientes. Uh, we just, I just yesterday ordered uh, the classic, so that should be here in, in a week or so, hopefully. Why no Hangerback or Walking Ballista? That's a good question. I don't know, because we're still, we're still building the deck, that's why. This is not... Oh, God, I keep... I always... This is the scariest card ever because I don't want to mess up with it and end up putting no counters on it. But we do get to put a counter on it now, which is nice. Are you ready for... Oh, black. They chose black? Interesting. Oh, we can contagion class that guy. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to work out. What is going on here? What is this deck? I don't know. This is fascinating. I'm fascinated. You have piqued my curiosity, Barnaby Jones. <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah. That was funny. I had a good laugh at your joke about their username. That sounds funny. Man, there's so many black green decks now because of Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, because everybody wants to be trophy and brah. So what we can do is put a counter on this, which is the same as using the mana. And then we just play a Paradox and Geno. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> I actually, I think I like the hot ones. Uh, what was the first one? Did I have a name? Or was it just called hot ones? Oh, Fiery Chipotle. The Fiery Chipotle. I actually like the Fiery Chipotle better than Los, Los Calientes. Calientes. I think Los Calientes was great. I, think I might but, agree with that. But I think the, the, the Fiery Chipotle was delicious. That had a pineapple flavor as well. It was just had like just the right amount of sweet in it. Just the right amount of sweat. Like your mom. Oh, God. Mike is literally dying here. I'm trying to move, but it's a bad idea. I shouldn't be moving. Don't move, man. Oh, wow. Did they play Journey to Eternity and then flip it? Oh, my God. I'm such a fan of everything that's happening right now. We do have a ghost card. How did they flip though. it so quick? Uh, they put it oh, the on. Sack, the, oh, the yeah. yeah. Okay. You know what's up. So what we can do is put another counter on you. Tap you. Uh, play a Contagion class, which will untap just non-land permanence. Sure. Uh, untap all the things. Clasp your Stitcher supplier. Just to get that thing in the graveyard. Mike has not gone to the doctor. Unfortunately, I have to wait for the dog tar. Rish car, dog tar. <laughs> now we're going to put another counter on you. Then we're going to do one of these jobbies. Oh, wow. We have a lot more mana than I expected, actually. Okay, so we'll just play Wormy. Right? Hold on. Can we un can we actually go one, two? No, we can't. Alright. So yeah, Worm Worm City. Untap again? Oh boy, this is nice. I'm a fan of everything that's happening right now. Yeah, Paradox Engine is actually pretty busted. And we're not even doing that much busted and we can stuff with it. Yeah, and we can still activate the fair or proliferate right now if we wanted to. Activating the fair. So we're definitely going to oh, get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% getting rid of it. But we still have six mana. We can still crack Everflowing Chalice and crack fair to get anything, basically. I will pass. So they have four cards, but we have everything, so... Rish yeah, my doctors be expensive. Um, years of schooling mostly. I should go to Canada. You should go to Canada, actually. I regularly look at a worm coil as a card I don't want to play against. Oh, that's interesting. Pretty good blockers. Can we get anything with this? 
Oh, we can get the thing that puts... We can get Contagion yeah, Engine! Get, yeah, boy. Ah! Uh, I got real excited. You guys could, could tell. You guys could hear it. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This is gas, dude. Patink! <laughs> Fun of having a good time. Um, okay, so we're going to put a counter on you. Because then we're going to proliferate and prolifer proliferate again. So... We'll play you. This is such insane gasness. Uh, choose target player. Oh, it's it's target player. Oh yeah, I'll choose you. Yeah, this seems better than like playing a fair a bunch of times and getting a bunch of nonsense, right? Uh, proliferate. Wait, what happened? Oh, you activated to proliferate it. Sure. So let's Which do that. Can. I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, done. One, two, three, done. I'll just waste my two manas, I guess. Wow, this was great. That was great. I'm a big fan of everything that's just happened right there. I think they're going to scoop. That's my presumption. <sighs> Hornet Queen number two. That is a possibility. Seder Wayfinder. All right. Well, we got a Contagion class to make sure that guy doesn't uh, gum up the works, so to speak. Worm Coil in the graveyard. Burden Catacomb in the hand. Sounds good. Oh, now they're at six. All right. One, two, three, four, five. So they'll have six mana. I guess they could just play regular Worm Coil. Which they're likely going to do. Oh, wow. Look at that dude. Would you look at that beauty? I see him. I said look at him. Um, It's a lot of mana. I guess we're going to Contagion Clasp here because it's our only option. Man, if they had a poison counter, though, can you imagine? They'd be dead. They would be dead. Um, <laughs> we can proliferate twice, I guess. One, two, three, four. One, two. Done. One, two. This Everflowing Chalice is actually going to... We cannot class the big guy. That is not how Hexproof works. <laughs> Yep. You don't want to use colors because of some kind of mission. We don't want to use colors because it's a it's the it's a it's a paid deck critique for colorless control and it's yeah, it's it's a fun deck. So we're just playing for fun and trying to build a deck without colors. So literally, yes. This deck doesn't see colors. I don't see colors. <laughs> I can't imagine not proliferating here, right? One, two, three, four. So needless to say, they would definitely be dead if we had a, a poison counter on them, on their faces. Oh, yeah. Big dead. Oh, yeah. Big dead. <laughs> and we can also, like, hard cast an Emrakul, but that's probably going to do it, I guess. I'll use 13. I'll tap this for 13. And then I'll untap everything. We can also proliferate four times on this Ugin. Neg two. I mean, literally, I could see playing one colored card, and it would be like Banefire. Um, uh, I don't want to waste five. Oh, we're just going to scoop, so that's nice. Everyone left Lou. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. On Twitch for the first time in weeks, and it's my 30th anniversary as a sub. Nicely done. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. Um, this might be an ensnaring bridge deck because they seem like they have a bunch of creatures that want to uh, hurt us. Show me where the creature hurt you. They want to hurt us. Paradox oh, engine no. was cool, but I didn't feel like it did it a lot. I almost want another contagion engine in the deck. I guess the inventor's fire was really good for that. Though. I don't know. It was pretty insane. What the paradox engine? Yeah. No, no, no. The the contagion engine. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. 
want to bring in Snaring Bridge. And Snaring Bridge prevents us from attacking too. So it kind of forces us to win with these four. Which is interesting. Might just want all his dust. I don't know. It answers everything. To one time, Ugin. How one time? We'll try it. We'll try all his dust. Did Hunter build this deck? No, why? I don't even understand. Because it's colorless. Dogs can't see color. Wow, that's messed up, man. Well, it's true. Yeah, but it's rude. It's actually not true. Really? Yeah, they don't actually see in black and white. Are they colorblind? Because colorblind they can't doesn't see, see black and they, white. They see, like, shades of brown. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right, but that's still colorblind. Yeah, but, like, the old... Everyone thinks the dogs see in, in black and white, but that's not true. Why does everyone bring in this... Why do people bring, 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 bring an artifact hate against us? This is super random. Oh, Fire Red, thanks again for playing this. And Jerry, I'm so sorry this took so long, but I'm really glad we got to get around to it. I'm glad you were here for it, too. That's actually great timing. Like I said, it was always on my... It was always in my queue. I just, like, I it was... I kept putting it off for some reason because I didn't know where to start, and I think this is coming together quite well. This is... Like, what is this ley line tech? Like, why do both players bring in the... the artifact... The, the graveyard is there like some us. weird graveyard artifact deck that we don't know about yeah like are they teching on us that we don't even know I guess the buried rune we have two of it keeps tracking opponents and yeah the, everyone sees the buried runes and they're like oh no we gotta bring in ley lines oh maybe they think it's like crackling ironworks nonsense oh maybe so they're like oh you're gonna go scrap troll maybe we think they have we have scrap trawlers wow this is actually um this is actually such a meta deck because you trick them into thinking it's a different artifact deck. But it is not different. Oh, that's sad. Wow, that's rude. I wonder what it's like to be this rude your entire life. Can I draw a Contagion Clasp? <laughs> My god, dude. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, Jesus. I don't actually understand it. Next turn, Karn is really what we want to do when they have nothing on the board. On the Borg. I don't... Oh, how did that even happen? I don't understand. Oh, I see. Oh, look at this. You ready? Did they get rid of the Contagion class with an Assassin's Trophy? That's pretty great, dude. Looks like it. That's just fine. I think the chat died because otherwise they would have... They would have. I feel like there would have been some reaction to that Shut Contagion class. Jesus donated one dollar. Sup? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we can do... We can go Karn and Surge Node? Hmm. That seems good. We can also play this and this. Is that better? I don't know. I think it's probably just better to get the Karn down when they have nothing on board, right? Yeah, let's reveal. Tumble Magnet or Magist? I think they're probably going to give us the Tumble Magnet. Seems likely. Because this is a scarier card by itself. I didn't even know that card existed. What? Spep Scepter? Yeah. Really? No. Nope. It is new. It's M19, so... What is that? That was this year, right? That was the new one, right? Yep, that's what we thought. Hey, buddy, you want to touch my Surge node? No. Maybe if someone touched my Surge node, I'll be better. <laughs> you'll, you'll be all better? I'll be all better. <laughs> I'll be all better, blah, blah, blah. That's what you said, right? Be all better, better, blah, 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 blah. I did hear a be all better there. You got it. Ugin doesn't care about your ley line. If they ley line, if they go, if we get an Ugin, we're just going to be like negative two. Don't even care about this. It does nothing. They have one card in hand. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, this game is over, dude. I don't want to be, I don't want to be presumptuous, but yeah. Okay. So now we're just going to go 
Uh, let's actually see what we hit first here. If it's two lands, I just want to hit a land. Ooh, all this dust. They're definitely giving us the land, right? Right? Frank or Mike, will one of you say touch my surge node five times fast? I'll donate another two bucks if you don't flub it. <laughs> Uctors, why are you this way? <sighs> Who's in? Who's doing it? I did last time. Oh, okay. Touch my surge node, touch my surge node, touch my surge node, touch my surge node, touch my surge node. Oh, you got it. Yeah, that was pretty easy. That one was easier than just surge node 15 times. Let's go scepter and core tapper. Because next turn we can activate this, put a counter on it, and then put a counter on it. So that's three. And we also get a blocker if we just want to throw this guy away. We don't. All right, so those are gone. Lucky, 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 lucky. What happened? Oh, yeah, get another Wastes. I'm game. What did they kill? Field? What did they kill? Ghost Quarter? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Does that mean they're going to top deck a journey? Probably. But they don't really have any dudes in their graveyard to get back. I guess they have Acidic Slime. Acidic Slime seems pretty good. All right, that's fine. I guess they're going to get back Acidic Slime. Or they can get back Assassin's Trophy. We are out of wastes now, though. That's pretty sad. Are you going to... So I don't even know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Glad you didn't say it. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was a close one. Oh, they get rid of the Karn, which gets us... I'm going to search anyway. Dang it. Wow, man, that was real <laughs> You basically just decided not to say it in the middle of your sentence for no apparent reason, but you did good. Well, because I was like, I don't know why I stopped. I guess I was, I don't know. That's a good, uh, that's a good, I don't know. It was your sixth sense. <laughs> your spider sense. I try not to read things on the internet because then I feel like uh, it's less likely to be gotten, so... If you never read comments, you can't be gotten. Yeah. Um, just let's put a counter on you. So we can go. Ooh, we can. Oh, ooh, this is gonna be a good turn. Are you ready for the good turn? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold on, hold on. You ready? Mm-hmm. I want to make sure you're ready. I'm ready. Counter. Uh, put a charge counter. Cook a cook counter. And Carnum's Ringling Brothers and Carnum Bailey Circus. Carnum Bailey. Shut up and take my money. You wouldn't like me if I wasn't the way I was. Hashtag Surge Node Challenge. Hashtag Ten Times Fast. Hashtag Five Times Fast. Hashtag Is that a Surge Node? Do you mind if I touch it? <laughs> wow. Wow. Actually, do we just make a guy here? I think so. It's a four four. And then we take an extra turn. I'm okay, Dad. And if we hit any land, we can play Karn Liberated, which is pretty good. That's not a land. Maybe hey, we'll get one. That's what I'm hoping. Double land here. Uh, they have to give us mine here, which is great. Because you're not going to give us Worm Coil Engine, for sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we can Karn Liberated. We can also just all this dust to get rid of everything they have. Seems pretty good, actually. Because it also puts them on five lands. Um, we did that. Put a counter on you. We can also sack this guy to put two counters on this, which is what we're definitely going to do in taking an extra turn here. Oh, boy. We're going off, ladies and gentlemen. What 
do we get here? Do we just get worm coil here? <clears throat> Feels like we can neg one, get worm coil, and just be in real good shape. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Unfortunately, we don't have... We have two power plants and three mines. We have no... Uh, no towers visible. I feel like we're in good shape. Missed the damage. Oh, because they didn't attack first? Sure, that's fair. There's a lot going on, so... I mean, the deck is definitely weak to things like Creeping Corrosion or Fracturing Gust, I'm sure. And we win the game. Was that the match? Oh, wow. Yeah. This deck is amazing. I want you to show me the way. I like this configuration. I kind of do, too, actually. It's got the spicy one ofs. I felt like this was fine, but like it didn't really blow me away. It, it made a lot of mana. Do, do I mean, we that, want... that that chalice, that game where we got it was actually pretty insane. Like it provided you so much mana, and like it kept proliferating. Like it was really good, actually. I, I did like a second engine just because for four mana you proliferate twice. Yeah, but there's turn like if they don't have creatures on board, it can be a really bad, bad draw. That's true. I agree with that. Or they don't have like a bunch of one ones. I just don't think Crucible has been great. And Dominus, I don't know why you keep suggesting Crucible, buddy. Yeah, I don't think it's good. It's, there was really no situation good. where I wanted to just play a land back from my graveyard. Because, like, okay, so you're spending a turn to play Crucible. Because a lot of times, like, your mana is very tight in this deck. You want to play 3-drop, then you want to play 4-drop, then you want to play 5-drop. So you're spending your turn 3 to, to get a land back. And that's if there's a land in the graveyard. And if there's not, like, it just doesn't do anything. So then I play it on 3, I have no land to get back. And then, like, I just have to hope that I have 4 mana and this. So 5 mana to spend to activate Inventor's Fair. And then next turn, I can play a land out of the graveyard. <clears throat> yeah, also everyone seems to be bringing in graveyard hate and crucibles. It's just it's just that. very slow. Like, it's slow and it's not even like... We only have three lands, five lands that we want to go to the graveyard. And, like, I haven't even... I've activated these one time. I've activated Inventor's Fair once. And, like, I don't really care about getting things back with Buried Rune because we have so much. It's not going to get back Karns or Ugans. It'll only get back, like, Worm Coils or Contagion Clasps. And I just... That's not super exciting. Like, this deck, it seems like it's like, okay, if you kill an artifact, that's fine. Like, let it go. What's the six drop dragon from Phyrexian block? Uh, Steel Hellkite? Meh. Meh. Like, it has to live, you have to attack with it, and then you have to pay X. Like, it's so much. It's pretty good, though. It does die to dismember, though, which is pretty rough. Yeah, but like getting back, like pl having Crucible in the deck just so I can maybe use a Core Tapper to maybe get more turns with Magic Scepter is so narrow. Like the situations yeah. where that that's going to come up are so small. Uh, I actually like two Walking Ballista. Does Walking Ballista use charge counters? Uh, no, it uses plus one, plus one counters. I mean, you can proliferate onto it, I guess. What is... Yeah, Hangerback is also plus one, plus one, because they, they get bigger. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason I don't like Walking Ballista. It just... It uses plus one, plus one. So you while you can proliferate, it does blank things like Core Tapper and Surge Node. Yeah. Which is not as good. Like, you just kind of lose a lot of the... um, A lot of the oomph there. <clears throat> 60 cards. What do we add? Could we try Phyrexian add... Metamorph. That might be worth it. I was that. thinking that. I don't know if there's any artifact I really just want a second copy of. I could see playing like an Emrakul in the deck, to be quite honest. But I don't think there were that many situations. Maybe like an Ulamog? Maybe like one Ulamog? No, we didn't get to that much mana that frequently. Like, it was pretty hard for us to get to eight. Like, outside of yeah, maybe that's funny true. turns with Paradox Engine, like, I feel like Engine's the only way we get to that kind of mana. All right, let's try one more with this. With this configuration, and we'll see how, how we do then. I, I almost wanted a third waste in that matchup, to be quite honest. Like, there's so much land destruction. And so many people are gunning for your lands. That, like, I don't know, maybe a third waste is right. Like, the Ingmoth Nexus seems cute, but, like, I don't really care about it. It's kind of just, like, incremental. I think, I think having a waste and making sure you don't get set back on lands is just way more important than 
uh, maybe attacking with an Ink Moth once and then proliferating for the rest of the game. Like, it just seems more important. <clears throat> Four copies of Chromatic Lantern, and you're like, go ahead. And then I'm like, oh, no, you can play anything. And you're like, only... We are not playing Ballista. Uh, reason being, it just doesn't... It doesn't mesh well. It only meshes with Proliferate, not with... Um, with Charge Counters. So, it's kind of only half of the... The, the deal. I don't hate Platinum Imperion. I wonder if that's a good thing. Platinum Imperial is also a card that was like... Uh, it's definitely not only key that allows us to reach 15. Uh, Paradox Engine also would have let us reach 15 the other game. Like, we definitely had like 13 to 15 mana uh, before we even untapped everything, so... I have charge counters, Greg. Can you core tapper me? I don't think so. But maybe... It's an option. Hangerback Walker is the same thing as Ballista. They both use plus one, plus one counters and not charge counters. So that's why we're not playing them. This is literally, literally the same reason. Uh, I do like orbs, actually. I did forget orbs was a card. Five mana, though. You have Hexproof and what? Uh, if a creature would deal damage to you, prevent one of that damage. What's... Is that better than Witchbane Orb, though? Destroy all curses, you have Hexproof. So it's like you're getting the damage, but like... It's a turn later, too. So... I don't like it at all. Interesting. Mm, Daddy don't like his back. <laughs> Mike's gonna get that back removal surgery. Do you guys... Have you guys ever heard of that? Or I'll just get rid of all my bones and I'll roll around. <laughs> oh, that's Mike. He's a blob. How come no one's jumping in this modern queue? Can't have hurting bones if you don't have any bones. Is that XX creature viable? Yeah, you just... uh, No. I had bones once. Yeah? How, how do you feel about them? Not great. What's other rolled atlas? Draw a card, discard a card, or something? Put a charge counter on it. Each player draws a card for each charge nope. counter. <laughs> so as long as once it said each, I was like, I'm good. Come on, somebody join. You can't break bones you don't have. That's a good point. That is an incentive. Um, Ugh, probably got to get up and walk around after this match. Yeah, I would imagine so. You should go for a little run. <laughs> Well, how, when you mean run, do you mean snail's pace? No, you just gotta push, man. Just push yourself. What's dark steel reactor? I think Is if I like literally tried to, mana? I think if I literally tried to run, I'd probably pass out from pain. That's dark steel forge. What's dark steel reactor? Four mana, indestructible. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a charge counter on it. When it has twenty or more charge counters, you win the game. It's gonna be a long time. Really? No one's jumping in this modern queue? Come on, man. How much donation money do you guys need to have a Mike Yoga stream? Because I can look into loans. <laughs> hey, man. You name your price. Well, with my back hurting? No way. Actually, maybe I do name a price. That way they can pay for my doctor bills. <laughs> smells great. I'll do the yoga if you pay for my doctor bills. How about that? This smells really good, but like I'm really reluctant for a, a hot sauce with bananas and raisins in it that's just also a1 steak sauce does have raisins in it as well so that's, that's true that's interesting this hand is great it smells really good though my dad i will donate 35 bucks and mike runs one block that is not worth it not for one block dude nope wow like, even the idea of me running is just not happening. Like, my body just won't let me do it. I hope they play a 1-1 one, one here that doesn't do anything like an Arbor Elf or a Llanowar Elf or a Bird of Paradise. That's not... I put A-1 on good. everything like pancakes. Wow. That's uh, interesting. Oh, I, thought, I was so excited. I thought we were going to Tron for once. Uh-oh. They're Troning, though. Yeah, that's not good. I think this is probably a bad matchup for us. 
I don't I don't think it's good. I feel like they just have a better way to Tron. I guess if we hit Tron first, we're in good shape. Yeah, but we have one turn to do it, and they can just, like, they have a much better way to do it. As far as, um, as far as sauces go, I actually do like A1 a lot. Really? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's a solid What sauce. do you put it on? Because you're not a steak, man. Uh, french fries. I dip most, most, most of my condiments are, or is this power plant? Cool, that's the one you need. I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. Which is really kind of sad because... Oh man, we got four mana. We do. We do have four mana. Well, I'm just gonna pass here. What are we going to put that on, man? Your mom. Hmm. Got him. I had major back pain in my lower back. Turned out to be a loose vertebrae, not as bad. Loose vertebrae? And I just had to do physical therapy to strengthen the muscles around it. Maybe see a physical therapist. They cough. Yeah, but here's the problem. So, like, when I, I actually got back surgery, like, 10 years ago. And my doctor, before doing an MRI, recommended me go to a physical therapist. Um, okay, that's Before the MRI. That's interesting. Yeah, because he thought it was, like, a sprain. And, um, like a muscle sprain. And I think that actually might have made it worse because I didn't have a muscle sprain. I had, like, damaged, uh, ruptured vertebrae. Or discs, rather. And, um... Did you do anything to make it happen? Or did it just, like... No. You, just like me, you just woke up? I woke up like... one day. I didn't even wake up. I got off the plane. I was... I was coming back from a New York trip, and I got off the plane. I stood up on the plane, and I was like, oh, that doesn't feel good at all. And, um... It was just ever since, like, that, that, it never healed after that, so, it was just, and I was like, okay, well, I need to get this looked at. We have one, two, three, four, five, six mana right now. Three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so, one thing we're definitely going to do is put a counter on this guy. Because, as usual, it's always the same as just not putting a counter on it. So, now we have... I kind of want to just go clasp, magister sphere, spend five, and then keep up ghost quarter to kill one of their Tron pieces. Does that sound okay? Does that sound okay? And three blue. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I feel like going to chiropractor could actually be a really bad idea. If they had Karn, they would have just played Karn, right? So I don't think they have Karn. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want to actually class them pull afraid because then we don't have mana to do this. Like, if we do that, we're keeping them on Tron, which seems like a terrible idea. Uh, Iron Chef Sammy, I have a heating pad for my back, which helps a little bit, but it only, like, it makes it feel better, but, like, as soon as I get up to walk, it's just the same pain over and over again. Cornucopia is colors, you're correct. Um, so I think we're actually going to go Surge Node, put a, the counter on this, um, because it actually does a thing. We want to, we're going to have one, two, three. We're getting rid of the ghost quarter. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. We want to have... I still don't think it's going to work. Anyway, still going to do it. Oh, we, we want to be able to... We want to be live if we hit a land for Ugin, I guess. So we'll play Scepter and Clasp, maybe? In the Scepter 3? Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I was, I was thinking, I was deciding which one, and I didn't know what, what to do. Okay, I'll just play Scepter. Um, I will lose the mana. I accept that. I'm going to do it during their draw step. I think that should be safe. Because then they'll have to use it during their draw step. I mean, the doctor will probably recommend me losing weight, sure. But that's not going to cure whatever this is. Like, <clears throat> It's pronounced Dogtar. You're right, Dogtar, my bad. Sure, you get three mana. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, mate. 
Whatever it is, I do hope it doesn't have to be surgery involved because surgery is really expensive. Correct. After insurance, my surgery was $10,000. It was like 68000 before insurance. After insurance? Before insurance. It was sixty-eight. I just said it was ten after. Still a lot. Correct. That is my that is the point I'm making. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we can hit one land, we get to Ugin, but I don't think that actually stops this guy. In fact, I will let you know it does not. Oh, I see. Well then, that's this is a pretty bad card against us. Yeah, that's something. Destroy all non-land permanents. Well, get wrecked, me. Yeah, I don't think we can beat that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana because we can take another turn if we do. <clears throat> do we have eight mana, Michael? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We do. So we can do this. Actually, this might be... Oh, my God. This might be infinite, actually. Hold on. Hold up. Uh, put a charge counter on the scepter. I think we just did it. I'm gonna take an extra turn. That's not the Tron land we're looking for. But it's okay. But it's okay. One. Don't we get infinite turns? I think so. Because we can proliferate and we can. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> yeah this isn't four turns. This is infinite. Because every turn we're just, we're just using these and proliferating. So that's three. And eventually we'll get to a source where we could play Ugin and win with that. So, Inventor's Fair, Contingent. That was insane. Luckily our opponent didn't make us go through the motions. That was insane. Uh, I don't care about those. I don't care about those. What I, I think Chalice is probably good. Like on what? Uh, you name it on one. Because then it shuts off their stars, their spheres, their ancient stirrings. They actually have a lot of cards on one that are that's good against. We can take out like two tumble magnets for two chalices. Yeah, tumble magnets are pretty useless. Right. Yeah, I'll just bring. Them. I mean, you can tap down a worm claw. No, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Do we want relic in the sideboard? Probably. I mean, we probably want some kind of artifact or uh, graveyard hate, but it's really. Uh, I mean, like, you want a lot of things in the sideboard. I think the Ensnaring Bridges can probably go. I don't think the Ensnaring Bridge is great. Like, you have a lot of expensive cards in your deck, so you could be stuck with, like, 6-drop, 7-drop, 8-drop, and just have no way to... Um, also, when we put Chalice down for 2, we can also put counters on it with Surge Node for the later game. It can touch your surge node. Phyrexian what? I was like, yeah, I mean, we thought about the one, the one Emrakul. But I don't know the likelihood of us. Like, we barely had enough mana to... Wow, I can't believe we went infinite last turn with double surge node proliferate thing. That was pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to play this because you're not going to do your thing next turn. We're going to chalice for two. Need one. That's what I meant. Okay. Well, butter my biscuits. No, thank you. Butter them, I said. I'll butter no one's biscuits. Oh, you'll butter someone's biscuits. There's already enough butter in the biscuit. Doesn't need to be buttered. Like, this shuts down 12 of their cards at least, right? Like, it shuts down Star Sphere and Ancient Stirrings, which is pretty good. Yep, all right. Well, that card is my least favorite card. The card is pretty backbreaking for us. I mean, they don't have five mana, though. I still don't think... I don't think we actually do anything here, which is unfortunate. I would love to play a Karn, but not really before you... They can just sit on this, because we have no threats that really, like, punish them. Sure. 
you gonna actually do anything with it, or are you just being funny? You mismatching basics. Why tap it there? Like, why waste everybody's time? I don't understand it. It's just like such a, it's such a like it's the dumb guy trying to pretend to be like doing his best smart impression. That's always what it reminds me yeah. of. Like you're trying to like do this next level play, but it doesn't actually do anything. Well, we're gonna cast this for Un. He watched it on a stream once. <laughs> like, it just doesn't do anything. It's like I saw some professionals do this, and this seems like what I'm supposed to do. I don't personally understand it, but I know it's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Pretty much. Look at this Urza's Mind Trifecta here. Man, we hit the right one with the power plant. That's nice. I mean, they can Oblivion Stone. It's a two for three, which is fine. But it does get rid of our... I think they 100% have to Oblivion Stone here. Which makes me wonder why they even played Walking Ballista. Well, how do we get the red mana for Banefire? Iron Chef Sammy. This is where they're like, all right, now I'll do it. Okay, you're gonna let me untap with this? That is impressive. What, what, why do this during upkeep? I'm going to do an upkeep because I'm a pro. <laughs> I don't understand any of these decisions. Sure. It's like you're tapping out anyway. It doesn't freaking matter. Hold on. Let me look. This is what this is what they would do. No, I'm not even going to do it because it just wastes our mana. It's just so funny, dude. Okay. Well, we had a good, we had a good run. It's turn six. We've missed three land drops. So. We only have one Cornucopia in the deck, so I'm not really going to, I'm not really super thrilled on Cornucopia. Well, being our one one win condition with Banefire. If they make us play it out, we're just going to win with Karn, Ugin, or Worm Coil anyway. It's not like we don't have win conditions. Like, why would I hope to hit one my, our one Cornucopia and then hit our one Banefire instead of just literally winning with the powerful threats we have in the deck already? This is a hell of a turn. But you're still two Tron lands away from... And mismatching basics, mismatching Trons. God. I know. I guess we're actually just playing this because we have, there's not, the likelihood of them having actual targets is pretty low, so. It's like actually zero. It's not actually zero. They have worm coils. We're never going to get that thing down to negative one, negative one. I'll get you down to negative one, negative one, you stupid dummy. Wow. That's so rude. They didn't do anything? Why you got to be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway, and marry that girl. Sh sure. You got it, man. Fascinating. I wanna reveal because I wanna hit lands here. Oh, we hit two lands. They're gonna give us the inventors there. I bet that bet you son of a biscuit. <laughs> That's fine. As long as you don't hit a an Urza's, an Urza's power plant, which you only have three of left in your deck, then we'll be fine. Just don't hit that. Oh, it's a forest. All He's right. already got, like, a lot of mana, though. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's true, actually. <laughs> God, what is this Urza's mind? Three Urza's minds for both sides? This is weird. Hmm. Would you like to play a one one? Well, we could we could play contingent class first, make it a two two. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing over there, Chief? Oh, you know, just we can also just play Paradox Engine. I think that's probably better. Let's just keep pumping Karn, and we'll try to just increase our board position.
Ooh, what do you give me here? Ghost Quarter? That's okay. fascinating. It probably doesn't matter. I'm just going to play Paradox Engine here. Being able to go uh, Worm Coil Engine next turn, untap all our lands. Oh, I guess it doesn't untap on lands, does it? Oh, that's never mind. This card sucks. I thought it untapped our. Oh, I see. But this untapped, is actually fine. If untapped lands would be one of the most broken cards ever printed. That was actually totally fine. Thanos, what's going on, buddy? Okay, so now we just have multiple worm coils here. That's pretty cool. If untap lands, it would be the most... Yeah, you're right. Isn't there a card that does untap your lands? There's, like, turnabout. Cool. So I can now Karn and then exile your Karn? Yeah, that seems cool. Let's do all these things. Wow, we're just playing the better Tron, right? Like, that's all that's happening here. <laughs> Peace out. Turnabout? Turnabout! Isn't there an enchantment that is that? Wow, they didn't do anything? Yikes. Can we get anything with, the, with Inventor's Fair here? You can get whatever you want. You Probably can... better just to play Worm Crawl Engine, though. I agree with you. Uh, one, two, three, four for two. We can actually play... Um, let's play this for two, right? Or for one? And then one, two, three, oh, four. for two. No, that's only five. Yeah, you're right. You can only play it for one if you want to play the Worm Crawl. Well, we can do this for two, and then three, four, five. We can play Inventor's Fair and get rid of one, but I don't think that's really worth it. So I think we just do it for one. Or we just don't do it all and just play Worm Coil. Yeah, just slam that boy. Uh, draw. Get rid of this tower. I don't want you. I mean, I don't know how many more forests you have, but <laughs> let's yeah, let's do this again. Let's do the. Happen in response. Oh, uh, with one mana in my upkeep, I will do nothing. Oh. I mean, if you're playing a control deck, I understand, because then you, there's things you can do, but even your nature's claim, which is like one of your only instant speed spells, we are 2 1 with this deck, and the one match we lost, we probably could have won if we didn't misplay a thousand times. Yeah, I this, think we would have won that match if we didn't is, misplay on the land. This deck is sweet, Jerry. Yeah, this deck is pretty sweet, Jerry. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little Rick and Morty meme. Um. Hmm. I don't know what I'd even change here. No, I like it as is. I do too, actually. The paradox, like I said, the paradox engine we played there, it didn't do anything. Like I just don't. I think there's so many times where it doesn't do anything. I think we went crazy with it one time, and that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But like we didn't really even have anything to do with the extra mana we were generating. I don't like paradox engine in the deck. We I'm gonna play over it. I don't know, but I think there are some better cards. I would might I might even go to twenty five lands. Yeah, I can see that missing land drops is pretty bad in this deck. I like adding a third ghost quarter because ghost quarter seems relevant. And one other card, maybe just another astral cornucopia, but I don't like that on three really. Maybe one metamorph. Yeah, I could see trying that one metamorph. Is there another good card? Like just another like. Metamorph seems like a pretty good card. It does, but what are we copying, right? Like, we copy a Tumble Magnet, not exciting. Copying any of these guys, not exciting. The only thing we're I'm excited to copy is a Worm Coil Engine, and that, like, already is... A, like, we're already pretty ahead. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you can copy your opponent's stuff, too, though, so... Right, that's true. Coalition Relic. Nice. Surge node or clasp to go infinite if, you, if we don't draw the other. Um, but then don't we don't we still need one of them? I don't know how magic works. I don't know. I, I want like one big spicy boy. 
We already have a lot of pretty big spicy boys. That's true. We do have a lot of spicy boys. Hmm. What's a decimator web? Is that the card from... That's like New Phyrexia, isn't it? There's not that many webs. Apparently there are. <laughs> uh, target opponent loses two life, gets a poison, and puts the top six cards of library into their graveyard. That's pretty interesting. I never want to spend eight mana to do this once, yeah, though, unfortunately. Engine needs some combo synergy, like with Temple. What, what do you mean? I, I don't think it needs that at all. We could play a one of Planar Bridge. I do like that, actually. Do we play Planar Bridge or Planar... So here's the question. Do we play Bridge, which is six and then eight? Or do we play Portal, which is six and then six? It's got to be Bridge, right? Yeah, I think I like Bridge. It's just better. very expensive, though. Is that too expensive? Maybe. Hmm. Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, be sure to chime in and let us know what you think. This is a Brown Town critique. Yeah, definitely. Brown Town. How now, Brown Town? You get it? I get it. <laughs> I get it. I feel like there's got to be more one or two drops, right? Like something? There's so there's so many crazy artifacts. The Ixalan artifacts. Like, what are the Ixalan art? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? Be more specific. I can't think of any. Um, I don't get it. Your artifacts are all yeah. It's Silvertown. You said Brown Town, but it's actually Silvertown. I was just trying to be nice because I felt bad for you. Oh, I left. There's just a. There's some kind of a. There's some kind of pleasure I'm getting from Thanos using his prototype own prototype portal. What is that? His do? own emote. What is prototype portal? I'm gonna look up portal because portals seem like things I want in in the artifact deck. Oh man, course of portal is gas. Prototype portal. You mean excellent artifact? Create a token that's a copy of the artifact. That's it's just nah. too janky. Like if you play this on four and then they assassins trophy it, it's just so dead. Titan's Forge. No way. That card is It's card like eight mana, right? Three mana, put a charge counter on a roof three, make a nine nine. It's way too slow. I mean it's just it's like the same as this, right? It's three mana and it costs three to activate. This is three mana, costs four to activate. You remove three from this. The difference is this can win you the game if you're able to keep it up. Right. Random nine nines are pretty good, but it's just like I don't know. I'm just looking up charge counter now. I feel like we're honestly I feel like we're in a good spot, so I feel like we can we can mess around a little bit more. Um and by mess around I mean take some time and look at things. Could play a one of treasure map. Seems okay. I actually don't hate that. That's actually pretty good. We could put Aether Vials in the deck. Uh huh. <laughs> Go on. Uh what is Burning Engine? Uh, Incinor Sorcery. No. <laughs> and then what? Nothing, I guess. I like Sun Droplet in the sideboard. Nah, it's just one. It's one life a turn. No, nah, it's not good enough. Okay, take it easy. You ain't gonna be... save you. you ain't gonna be... save you. Your Sun Drop cannot save you. Well, that's unfortunate. Conversion Chamber. What about the one of Tristani? Or not Tristani. But... <laughs> the, 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 hard... the green white card, the huh? The four mana guy that's like a 12-12 and it untaps whenever you play Historic. Traxos. What about one of Traxos? Trist I kind of like that a lot, actually. That seems good. Sacrifice a creature. Anything that says sacrifice a creature is not in our wheelhouse. Um, exile an artifact from your graveyard. Put it no. from a graveyard. Put a charge counter on it. Remove a charge. No, you're right. I like that you're like you're like no. I know what this I is. I know what that does. Yeah. None of the shrines are great. Culling days is not great because you don't have creatures. Culling days. It feels so nice. Culling days. You know this song? You know this Madonna jam? No. You don't know this Madonna jam. I do. I'm just messing with you. Unbelievable. You're messing with yourself is what you're doing. What about Sphinx Bone Wand? No. <laughs> the the snap no. nose are like the best. No. Just stop it. With X charge counters or X is your life total. Whenever a lander is battlefield under your control, you may have your life total become the number. That's interesting. So much mana, though. It's a lot. Wait, it's six. It's literally it's a lot. Well, yeah, but like you never die. I'd rather just play another Warcrawl engine. That which is dead can never die, Michael. 
Grind I, I would also rather just play another Worm Coil. play a Mind Slaver. I think Lux Cannon is too slow. If there's anything I want to put three three charge counters on before using it, it's just Magistrate Scepter, right? I just rather, I'd rather take an entire night another turn, right? Than than d destroy one permanent. And it's cheaper. We can play like a Ratchet Bomb. That's a Ratchet. That hurts our stuff too. Yeah, right. That's the thing. It's like playing Oblivion Stone, where you're like, oh, this is not a good idea. Remove a counter from a permanent you controlled. Put a charge counter on target artifact. Put a one one on target. Interesting. Hmm. So that's just swapping. That's a that's a counter swapper. I really I kind of like Traxos. It can't be, it can't be abrupt decay. It can't be dismembered. It can't be fatal pushed unless you trigger it. Triggered, which isn't very hard in this format, but correct. But still, it's still a it's still a hindrance. I could see trying it out. Want to track those? Crystal Shard's pretty interesting. Yeah, let's do one Traxos, dude. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we'll play one more, and then we'll see what happens. Ooh, let's do it. Let's play against Blue Surprise here. I'm going to get up and walk around a little bit. All right. Or I'm going to try to anyway. Here we go. You guys get to see Mike try to get up. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, we almost have Tron here. You know what? I'm just going to stay for the rest of the match. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. That was me giving up. He gave a shot. No, but in all seriousness, his back is in pretty bad shape, and I feel actually terrible about it because i know how I, I mean it looks funny i'm not gonna i'm not gonna deny the humor right i'm laughing at up. yes i told him yesterday i'm like i'm not laughing at your pain i'm laughing at the faces you're making because they're kind of funny yes tanos i was something i don't know what i just woke up one day and my back was just totally f-u-c-k-e-d'd what did you say um that's like my my mom used to say uh when she wanted to give the dog a bat she would be like we got to give you a we got to give her a b-a-t-h just so the dog wouldn't figure out that I don't know, man. I don't know how your ad revenue works. I'm just trying to be... I appreciate you not trying to get you me know? demonetized. That's nice. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. This smells great. What are we putting that on, man? I don't know. What's the dinner plan? I don't know. We got to figure it out. I feel like it's too late for you to make the mac, the mac and cheese. Yeah, I feel like we just got to go get something. Oh, core, core tapper? That was a good two drop. What is this? Braid of fire? Where the bad folks go when they die, they don't go where the angels <laughs> cry. Sing again. Is that what's that song called? Is that Ring of No? That's not. What is that Nirvana song called? Let's put it in the lyrics. Uh, Lake of Fire. That's Lake of Fire. This is Braid of Fire. It's very similar. Oh my God! Are we just gonna get to? Are we just gonna get to slam? Are we just going to Contagion Clasp this, this? Oh, man. I'm so excited right now. Look at this value. Whoo, biscuits. Just get in there for one? Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> YOLO. Oh, There's man. no downside to getting in for one. I went down in a burning braid of fire. And a take family stream. Wow. I'm sorry. Listen, listen, I can't help what he spells. And also to be fair, I'm proud of him for being able to spell. Like that's what it comes down to. Spelling is hard. He grows up a little more every day and his back grows down a little more every day. Is grow down the opposite. Jokes. What is this deck? Jokes on you, buddy. Ensnaring bridge, braid of fire, flamekin guy. This is a weird deck. I'm okay with it. And it takes me higher. Hey, we can still attack for one. Got him. Yeah, he don't even. He can't even do nothing. What do these have? Time counters? Yeah. It, age counter. Oh, give me that. No, oh, I don't care either one. They're probably just gonna get tower, right? I fell into a burning mic of fire. Uh, it is the Meat Puppet. It is the Meat Puppet song, but it's also on the Nirvana Unplugged album, which is where I know it from. This is a song by the Meat Puppets. Back pain is the worst. Unfortunately, I don't think it's a pain that's going to go away. I also got that feeling when I had mine. I was like, "This doesn't." Feel I mean, it's like... been like it's been like five days since I've had it. Yeah, or four days. Whatever. How old? I was twenty nine to thirty when weight started making my back pro have problems, so I lost sixty five pounds and I'm from two hundred one. He kept that for a couple years. How? Uh, my... I am twenty seven. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing, but this is this does scare me. All right, that's fine. I can deal with that. 
I think. Ooh, I don't know if I can deal with that, actually. You're going to kill this. Oh, we still have Ink Moth, though. We can deal you one with Ink Moth, and then we just have charge counters for days. Yep. Oh, this is actually pretty good. It's not a scred deck because they're not playing snow covered. Are they snow covered? No. Okay. Yeah, none of these are snow covered. Oh, they're just revealing the top two and dealing it to us. Is this each opponent? All right, that does not redirect a Karn anymore. Oh, that was interesting. I'm intrigued. But See, isn't Karn my opponent? <laughs> Am I not playing against Karn? I'm just going to keep revealing because unless I want any of these cards. Oh, they're just going to be wastes. All three of the wastes we've drawn now, so. And it takes me higher. I fell into a burning mic of fire. Yep, we're going to attack, and then we're going to play Magistrate Specter. I wonder if we can just kill them with Infect. Probably. <laughs> wow, that's that's. I like. It. I appreciate your faith. They have one card in hand. Actually, it's very possible. I'm expecting Frank to randomly try to drink that hot sauce. Wow. Uh, it, it's close. I keep getting close. One of the good things about me having new things on my desk is that you guys get to watch me play with them. Are you not entertained? Are you not? I don't know. I can't tell. All right. Well, next turn. Man, remember... Uh, it's got to be playing some kind of big fireball, right? Right, but it's got to be instant because they only get this during their upkeep. Right. And then they lose it during their main phase. Comet Storm, I guess? Yeah, but even if it's... Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's cost scred. They still don't get scred. That's true. Well, to be fair, the hammer wasn't even sharp until it was. And then it <laughs> slashed my face open. But up until that point, I didn't really feel like that was a sharp instrument. Jesus, <laughs> got it. Oh, boy. We have a good time here on the stream. Everybody wins. Except for some people, they don't win. But we win. Uh-oh. So six mana. Here comes Worm Coil. Under their... When they have Ensnaring Bridge out. You'd have to be an alien stream and donating to Doctors Without Borders to stream or drink hot sauce. For one. Uh, to the Chalice of the Void? Yeah. I, I have literally one card in my deck for one mana. Anger of the Gods? You got it. I mean, I prefer to keep this around, but... I think we're doing just fine. Are we, though? I'm worried about their Chandra Ultimate, for, for, for one thing. What does that do? Uh, whenever they cast a spell, it deals five damage to any target. Yikes. Yes. That's a yikes for me, dog. I guess you attack it with Nexus. Oh, we have yet to hit Tron, dude. We can also hit them with Nexus and proliferate. Mm-hmm. Go on. Um, I think you make a guy. We got to deal with that Chandra. I guess the guy can't attack. Well, next no turn we, can... we can't even attack. They have no cards in hand. Oh, you're right. That yeah, is no longer that's an option. not going to be good. I don't know how we actually deal with that. Stupid planeswalkers. Well, we want to be able to make a bunch of turns. So. Also, this could be proliferate. This could help our proliferation. Oh, we got a mine. And a Buried Ruin. But we don't have a Graveyard, so they're probably going to give us the Buried Ruin. Which is fine. They give us the Mine? Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, so now we just play this. Oh, that was a... That was not... That yeah, was I don't not, know why they did that. That was not correct. We proliferate twice onto the Magister Scepter... Which lets us take an extra turn. Uh, I'll choose you. You know how many creatures? I accept that. Uh, proliferate twice. Wow, Contagion Engine has been MVP every single time. Two, three. Done. One, two, three. Done. Uh, take an extra turn. And then next turn we can activate and activate, which takes an extra turn, and we just win. Like, we just literally just gave us the game. Let 
That's yeah, a, that was a mess up. Pretty good. Misclick, maybe? I don't know. They might have been scared of Buried Ruin. Like, we have some kind of shenanigans, but... Oh, Surge Node, just in case. Oh, the Surge Node is actually what we needed, because we'd have to put a counter on this. Yeah. Two. Yep, all right, so that was nice. How you doing over there? You know... Oh, no, it gets countered! Oh, I'm about so that. bad at this. Um... It's not infinite now. Dang it, I forgot about that. It's not infinite? No, because we have to get a counter on this to proliferate onto it. Oh, yeah. Bummer. Oh, that's sad. So a mine and a core tapper. All right, well, it was still very good. I mean, we still don't really have... So the thing is, like... Yeah, that's actually fine. And by fine, I mean good. Oh, if that guy lives, we can start putting... Correct. Even if it doesn't, we'll have enough counters on this next turn. We put one on it, and then we proliferate and proliferate, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually proliferate, and we can proliferate twice and put a counter on it. So we should be able to go proliferate onto this one more time for the fourth counter, activate it for three, and then proliferate again for two right. more. Yeah, yeah. So it just has to survive a turn, and they're in top deck mode, so I'm not too afraid of it. Their Chandra also can't do anything right now. Oh, we could have proliferated in response to the Chalice. That's actually... Oh, That's yeah. next level. Um, the problem being, it still wouldn't have... I guess it might have. Yeah, I think yeah, I didn't really think about that. Yeah, it would have been fine. Because we could have proliferated with Contagion Clasp and then activated Contagion Engine to get the two extra counters onto it. Yeah, that would have been good. All right, so they get a free card here. It is a pyretic ritual. I don't think that's going to do it unless you hit, like... I don't know what you can actually hit here. Oh, nothing. They just... Okay. That would be the game, I believe. So let's put a counter on you. One, two, three, four. No, we're not proliferating onto this. We're proliferating onto the chalice to make the, uh, the core tapper unable to be countered. Or not the core tapper, the surge node, rather. Target you, and you, and you. I believe that's it. And then target you, and you, and you. This is the biggest Karn I've ever seen. 13, 13 loyalty Karn. Sure, I'll just keep playing Tron lands. Uh, put a charge counter. Actually, couldn't we have done this last turn? We could have sacked this to put two counters on this guy. Oh, sure. Oh, God, I totally forgot that was a thing. Oh my god. See, there's so many things going on in this deck that it's actually surprising. Alright, let's take another turn. Uh, one, two... Wow, I can't, like... I'm just, like, surprised at the number of things I'm missing because there's so many... Th okay, we just won the game. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get poisoned out pretty soon. Well, we would have done it. We would have went to five, then six, seven, then eight, nine, ten this next turn, so that would have been the game. Man... Uh, all this does seems good against them. They have uh, Chandra and Braid of Fire. That seems like they're doing some kind of shenanigans. Sure. Whereas Temple Magnet seems pretty Probably bad. Probably not good, no. Lodestone Golem also could be just fine. We'll just play two Lodestone Golems instead. I don't think Temple Magnet's great here. No. No. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Did you hear about that burning of fire I fell into? No. I'm trying. No. To, I'm trying to tell you about it. Well, speak up, laddie. So should I, is it a la, is it a volume uh, issue? Yes. Yes. Can you think of food options that you'd like to partake in? I can't think of anything. Well, that's too bad. I really wanted that mac and cheese, man. We'll make it. Not Tuesday. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Think yeah. of something else, though, man. Chipotle. Deck proves that net deck is doing concern. I could buy this deck and still have no clue how to play it correctly. There's a lot of things happening. Did you hit Chipotle? Mm hmm. Something we can put sauce I don't on. like putting sauce on Chipotle, though. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's already pretty flavorful. It's, it's got, yeah, it's got a lot of things going on already. Why don't you go get tacos somewhere? 
Oh, weird. Maybe Taco Bus? I could do that. Oh, Taco Bus sounds pretty good. I don't want to drive out there again. Let's just get something delivered. Can Taco Bus deliver to us? Taco Bus? We get pizza, put some hot sauce on pizza. That sounds terrible. Yeah, you're right. Oh, this hand is sick. JK, it's not good. Order Howie's, eat while doing a draft after this, put hot sauce on the Howie's. What problem is? You know, realistically. Nothing, I guess. No, nothing, really. Yeah, that's not that's not the worst idea I've heard. It's definitely a mulligan. You're a mulligan. When you were born, your mother was like, my definitely back, a mulligan. My back needs a mulligan. Yeah, I'd like I'd like a new one, with one less vertebrae, please. But then I'd be like this. Forever, mm -hmm. I'll keep this. I don't like two two the same trial lands, but you know, Skyline with the hot sauce, Skyline chili. I don't know, man. Doesn't that's also flavorful too, though? You know, like I like I like neutral flavors uh, when I'm putting hot sauce on because I want the the hot sauce to really come through. Panda Express with the hot... Sammy, these suggestions, buddy. You can't keep naming chain restaurants that are Also, oh, if we're going for Chinese, we ain't going to no Panda Express. Correct. Man. We're going... I can do much better. So say we all. That's from uh, Battlestar Galactica. Oh, look at this face. <laughs> God, I hate laughing, but it's like... There's a, there's a funniness to it, you know what I'm saying? It sucks as like... It's like a pain, like it's it's beyond an annoyance, but it's not quite like incapacitating. It's just that's like... literally how I describe you. It's it's a little more than an annoyance, <laughs> but it's not incapacitating. This doesn't even do that much against us because we just it use only... our lands to yeah. to play things. That's actually so fine, dude. It's so funny how like we're not even that weak against so many like so Hot many sauce strategies. With hunter's dog food. Wow. What is this? Panda Express plus hot dog you with bathroom camp out. What's going Probably. on right now? I don't know. I can still move this? You gotta do for one. I am... I, did the game just crash? Okay, this is this is weird because I can still move this, but nothing is... Alright, I'm gonna try to restart this. Hold on. That's weird. Oh, quality. The deck is too good. The MTG goes like, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. Frank, I've been a loyal follower of the stream for nearly a year now, and I still haven't seen you and Mikey deep just Howie's on stream again yet. Deep Howie's doesn't make yeah, deep dish anymore. Unfortunately. We called, and they're like, no, we don't serve it anymore. So I... I'm I'm really kind of mad about it, so I don't I don't want you to keep bringing it up because it hurts my feelings. It was the main reason I wanted to go. Oh, it, I guess it worked. I guess so. All right. Well, that was fascinating. I fell into a burning goose of fire. Steps. Be drunk and down in downtown Seattle. Two. Find a dinky cart vendor with a line. Spend under five bucks for the best hot dog ever. Step three. Four. Profit. Huh? Step five, weep in pain. Oh, actually, hold on. I forgot to turn the screen back on so you guys didn't know what happened. But anyway, it worked. And we just passed the turn. That was all we missed. Your step only applies to you, Grandpa. You're right, sonny boy. Yeah, we do not care about Blood Moon. Not even a little bit. These lands have cool abilities, but none of them are needed. Oh, you're going to give me that Surge node when I got Magister, Magistrate Scepter? What do you do? Oh! Combo online. Our whole hand is gas. Next time we can play this and this, if they kill this, we can go node onto this guy. We still have a Wormy Boy. Oh, Wormy Boy. This is Chandra. It is. 
it is a Chandra. We can also start negative in Karn and just making like four fours and five fives. Yeah, that seems pretty decent. I agree with you. Braid of Fire? They have two cards in hand? Oh, God. Why do I feel like we're always so far ahead? This is an interesting deck they're playing, though. I mean, they're probably saying the same about us. They're like, look at this interesting deck. All right. So, one, two, three, four. We have five mana. We can play this and activate and make it four after that. I don't think we want to do that. One, two, three, four. I think we're probably just playing Scepter, Node, put a counter on the... Actually, it's probably Scepter, Core Tapper. And make a dude. Let's do that. I'm sure Tonos or Iron Sammy will easily donate for you guys to order Howie's delivered to fuel the stream for another draft or maybe throw in a little painkillers from Mike. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I can sit through another. another. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you give me like some, some codeine or something. Yeah, we're not doing all that. Maybe some uh, a couple. We can sack Core Tapper, that is true. But we don't have an extra. We don't have a way to get the, the third counter on there yet. So, also if they if they kill this, it's actually just fine because we can put some counters on some things. Here comes Shattering Spree. Pew 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 pew. Destroy a land. You got it. Huh. Oh, all right. Yeah, also we don't want to do that. So <laughs> guys, we're not gonna we're not doing that. That said I'll totally fun dinner. Oh my god, don't don't do that. You don't have to do all that. What are they doing now? Nothing? They're doing nothing. Oh, this is basically, I, I would consider this uh, a technical 4-0 because I do not think we lose that first game. In fact, I know we don't if we actually just... Uh, yeah, if we had that, that Ugin on that one turn, like the game would have been so... If we had, yeah, if we had any number of wastes or if we actually just played, uh, if we sequence things correctly, I think the game is totally different. It's me and Spirit Guide, huh? All right. Uh -huh. Going to the doctor soon. Um, the next couple weeks, I gotta get paid before I can go. Unfortunately, what a shitty God! I hate that so much, man. I can't go to the doctor right now because I don't have the money to not die. Yep. I mean, I could go to the emergency room, but that's gonna be so expensive. Yeah. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> or I could potentially go to an emergency clinic. Which is a little cheaper, but they're just going to tell me to go Thomas, somewhere else. So. Thomas, you're the perfect combination of well-paying job and generosity. It's like the... Did I miss something? It's Yeah, you just donated 80 bucks for dinner, so... Oh, jeez. Yeah, so that's cool. Dude, thank you so much, man. You are unbelievable. That's going to be an expensive dinner. Where are we going? <laughs> Guess we're going to Burns. <laughs> All right, now I have to figure out what I'm doing. We can probably kill this Chandra with this construct. In fact, I know we can. Oh my god. Taunus, thank you so much, dude. You are unbelievable. That is not even real, dude. Have you heard of urgent care? Yeah, that's actually a good idea, too. Yeah, I might need to do that. I don't know. Yeah, you are kind of ridiculous with the... You're like, oh, I'll just wait. No big deal. <laughs> I'll just live like this in constant agonizing pain forever. Uh, I'm going to make another guy. Yeah, so this I might do that on Tuesday. Make a node. Let me make a node of this. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> and if anything else, they can probably actually prescribe me something for the pain. Oh, we just win. All right, cool. Nice. So we attack Chandra for six and kill her. I'm going to go back to this game because I want to see what's happening here, right? We attack Chandra, or theoretically, we actually don't even care about Chandra. We go face for six. We put two more counters on this. We sack, we, we take an extra turn, and then we attack for six more. This deck is sweet. Jerry, yeah, thank you so much for letting me play this deck. I am sorry that it took me so long to get to it, but I'm glad you were here. I'm glad we got to it, and I'm glad it actually turned out... Like, not even, like, kind of meme -y impressive, but, like, real impressive? I think this deck is awesome. And I would even be convinced to play this at a local event. I don't know if I'd play it to a PBTQ or, like, a GP or something like that. But, like, I would definitely take this to, like, a Monday or Thursday at Magic or whatever. Like, this seems, deck seems real sweet. And I am, I'm very much a fan of this deck. 
And I love, one of the things I like about it also is that the sideboard is infinitely customizable. The main deck you can throw in like one of like Traxos or Contagion Engine, and they're pretty good. SEC Coming World Heroes, a little more to get some hot sauce with your dinner. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. I'd hate if we went 0-4 and your time was wasted. Hey, Indominus, no worries. I mean, it's not actually a waste of time because you've already, like, honestly, you've, you've paid, so you helped support the stream already. And Plus, it's, like, fun and interesting. Right. It's for you, right? Like, it's not for me. Like, my time is already... A, I, I've been compensated, right? Like, it's... No matter what happens after that, I, I hope I don't get an 0-4 because I don't want you to waste your time with a deck that's, like, not great. But this deck actually Fun's seemed... Well awesome like i'm surprised at how functional this deck seemed and we started from nothing we started from the ground up so i'm like super impressed with it it's hard to tell how to do against like more metagame decks though we beat tron we did beat tron yeah what was the other deck the the mono red deck was kind of weird but like you're gonna see that in modern that's the thing like you're gonna go to modern events you're gonna see that uh, we lost to Green Black, which is still a, a tier, a, t a high tier deck, and like we could have beaten that deck, I think. Yeah, I think we could have beat that deck. Yeah. So what was the other deck? We, we what was the fourth deck? It was we another played? Black Green deck, but it was like Reanimator. Oh yeah, 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 with Seder Wayfinder and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's still that's that's still modern. That's just mo a representation of modern, I think. And this deck was sweet. So, if you guys are watching and you want your own deck critique, you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. You can find the, the information in the links below. You can also uh, check the description. It'll be in there. And you can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. And you get 15% off and free shipping and free returns if that interests you. And you'll get some underwear. And you guys probably need new underwear. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't we all? Don't we all? Or you can get a onesie. Onesies are cool too. But either way, the affiliate link helps me out, helps you out. And uh, hopefully you guys can check that out. Very excited I got to see this live. Thanks for changing your schedule. Yeah, no worries, man. I really appreciate your, I appreciate your patience. I appreciate the support. You have been great about it, and uh, thank you for your service. <laughs> I was at BlizzCon, and there was a guy behind the counter who was, um, he was like, yeah, I'm on, you know, I'm just out of the military. I'm, I'm just working here. doing." He was, like, selling uh, the merchandise, right? So he was doing, like, some work for BlizzCon that weekend. And I was like, hey, man, thanks for your service. Really appreciate it. You know, just, just this, like, just a thing to throw out there, right? And he was like, man, I never know what to say when people say that. I'm always, like, kind of confused about what to say. And so right before I left again, I said it again just to be like, hey, man. Thanks for your service. Just to kind of throw them off, but it was kind of funny. So I threw that out there because it was kind of funny, but also in seriousness as well. Really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.